Misha, pick up the phone. Ah, oh, and there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? I have had a lot of client meetings. It's been very full on. We're doing a merger at the moment, so... Are you aware how tough this doesn't sound? Thanks for the sympathy. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. I was expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying? They have um, people in glass houses can't throw stones. No way, you too. Mm -hmm. Matches? Yes, a lot. Now a zero. But don't like apps, like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and you're not helping. You know, they really try and help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero, even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Hey, the grass isn't always greener. I've got like. 80 likes. But like once you filter out like the bad profiles and the nude pics and the meh ones, it's all just a bit quiet. Are your standards a little bit high? No! Anyway, I have a new initiative in the works. What's that? You're gonna kidnap someone? I've signed up for speed dating tonight. <laughs> okay, why are you telling me this? Because I'm bricking it and like, do you wanna have a drink for? Could you just say less? <laughs> It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. See you there. Bye. Bye. Because there's no substitute for meeting someone face to face. Like you can see their physicality, feel their vibe. Yes, but what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My internet connection was crap. Mm. What do you do here? Welcome everyone to Speed Dating. My name's Derek, I'm your host. We're gonna be beginning very shortly. So gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're gonna find that genuine connection you keep banging on about. Why are you <laughs> smiling at me like that? <gasps> Why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling, you're like everything. Misha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. How does it work? Sorry, what? <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, hence why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with a gentleman by your first allotted table numbers, and good luck. Have fun. Um, you're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. Cheers. Sorry, just fixing my eyeliner. I'm Azalea. I'm Ryan. You don't look like a Ryan. No. Well, what do I look like then? Not sure yet. That's not from here, is it? No. You're gonna snitch? No. <laughs> I made it. Just like the kombucha poured into it. That's the uh, fermented drink, isn't it? Looks good. Are you happy with the batch? Very. Tell you more about it, but we haven't got much time. <laughs> so, the kombucha is homemade, uh, the goblet is homemade. What else is homemade? I'd say 90% of this. The clothes, the accessories, you make it all from scratch. Started selling my stuff online during lockdown and it grew into a full-time business. Wow, that's really original. Thanks. 
Turns out my aesthetic plays quite well these days. What aesthetic is that? Call it what you want. I've heard hundreds of terms, kind and unkind. What brings you speed dating, Xavier? I am self-employed in a company of one. So the only man I see day to day is my gecko, Anton. Big up, Anton. I don't like the apps. People are very judgy on there. Mm. Sorry to hear that. It's OK. I've been judged my whole life, so where I can actively remove myself from that environment, I do. Do I look like a Ryan yet? Not quite. All right, then. <laughs> well, then, um, what else can you tell about me? You definitely give me water sign vibes. You seem quite sentimental and sensitive. What gives you that impression? The fact that you were just triggered by the word sensitive. <laughs> just three minutes to go, everyone. Three minutes. I know. It's going very quickly, very quickly. You're really into your astrology, then? It gives me structure. I analyse my behaviour in the context of something bigger. My main star sign is Scorpio, which I think really suits me. <laughs> And um, then based on when and where I was born, my rising sign is a Sagittarius and my moon sign is a Libra. What's the difference be between those three? Your main star sign is your sun sign. It represents sort of your desires in life and your rising sign is how you present to others and moon sign's what you're like deep down. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't really know about the other two, so... <laughs> Work them out for you. <laughs> we haven't got much time, so... <laughs> so then... What makes your sun sign so Scorpio? We aspire to be brave, loyal, honest. Any negatives? Jealous and secretive, but it doesn't really apply here. <laughs> Do you relate to them as animals as well, I guess? Aren't they really aggressive? Only when threatened. But don't they eat each other, though? Yeah. I forgot to mention that. And this is your final minute, guys. Final minute. So, I was wondering... No, um, I've spoken about myself enough. I want to know more about you. I feel like it's been pretty even. Can you just... It really hasn't, so I want to know more about you. Fine, fire away. What's your type? On paper. Translucent skin, ill-looking, hates the sun, allergic to garlic. That's the thing. That's the type I've always gone for. They suck. I see what you did there. Uh, anyway, what's yours? I would say that I'm... Fairly open-minded. Oh, come on. Everyone has an instinctive type. Well, I hope this doesn't freak you out. If I say that my type is something a little bit like you. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. So, um, this is specifically your type. Well, no, no, it's nothing to do with the way you look exactly. Um, I'd say it's more to do with the way you'd like to do things outside of the box. I think that is very interesting, and I think it's very attractive. Thank you, Ryan. Totally freaked me out, though, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> That's your lot, ladies and gents. Time's up. Let's be moving on. That was the um, kind of interaction I was hoping for from this, thanks. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, me too. Uh, what is your handle? I'd love to check some of your stuff out. At Azalea Shadows, A-Z-A-L-E-A -A -E Shadows. A-Z-A-L-E-A Shadows, okay. <laughs> yeah. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well... Uh, there was Azalea. Mm. Yeah, she was something else. She brought her own kombucha. She had her own goblet that she brought. Goblet? Yeah, with a crow on it. It's just very different, but it was really interesting, because it wasn't like any of the other dates I went on. Was there chemistry over kombucha? Yeah, I guess you could say there was a little bit of chemistry, yeah. I could see it going somewhere. Hmm. So, what's the next move? Well, I have one option. So, I think I'm gonna send a message. Yeah, one's better than none. One is definitely better than none. Proud of you. Peace.
<laughs> Thank you. Sorry, caught me fixing my eyeliner again. That is okay. Um, I actually thought that I was the early one for once. Uh, I took a look at your social media. It's really cool. Especially, like, all of the stuff you've been making. Thanks. I just noticed the blitz of likes. It was pretty full on. Uh, so, um, have you had many orders to process this week? Lots. Plus, um, a celebrity client requested a piece. I turned it down. Why? That's a great coup, surely. They demanded to skip the queue. I owe too much to my core clients to drop them for an impatient prima donna. Anyways, Mercury is in retrograde, so hassle was expected. Tell me about your week. So, um, Mercury in retrograde? Yeah. What about it? I have heard of it, but I don't, I don't really know much actually about it. It's an optical illusion where the planet Mercury appears to move backwards in the sky. It happens three or four times a year. And it basically just messes with technology and life. Okay. <laughs> I can't say that I've noticed too much disruption to my life. <laughs> Aside from me entering it. So, uh, do you want a drink? Love a drink. Hi, <laughs> yeah. It's hot in here. I know, yeah. <laughs> It's a cool place, though. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, cheers, cheers. Do you know what I've just realised? Speed dating is great because you jump straight into the face-to-face -face so it eliminates any possibility of false advertising. Mostly. I am a saleswoman, though. Oh, so you're a good liar. Well, we put that to the test. Let's play a quick game of two truths and a lie. I haven't played that in years. OK, OK. I'll go first. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I can speak three languages. My cousin was my prom date because nobody asked me. And growing up, I had a guinea pig called Chuckles, which is the lie. That is quite a spread. Uh, I don't know which one I want to be the lie. Um, the date's the lie. There is no chance that no one asked you. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're correct. Um, but no one asking me was true. But I went with my best mate, Danny, and you know, we had the best time out of everyone. So, no drama, just good vibes. Exactly. Danny was the best boy at school. <laughs> Should I be worried about Danny? <laughs> He's gay, it's Christmas. Your turn. I have a third nibble. I have climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. I am a king fisherman. Tough ones. The nipple is the lie. <laughs> I just can't see it. Are you imagining me topless just there? Purely for the purposes of the game. Don't flatter yourself. You say so. <clears throat> Correct. I am a dual nippled man. I'm really impressed the Kilimanjaro one's true. Mm. <laughs> I think so much to achieve those physically and, you know, mentally from on these feats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just an amazing life experience. Um, uh, the fishing one is also true. Let's not talk about that. OK. Round two. Go for it. OK. My parents met on the set of a porn film. My real name isn't Azalea. My body count is more than 20. Is there one you want to be the line? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Very carefully. The body count one is the lie. Correct. Wait, does that mean your name isn't really Azalea? I'll explain another time. I've gone by Azalea for a decade now. Wait, wait again. Does that mean that your parents met on a porno set? Oh. <laughs> They weren't starring in it. They get too excited. Um, so basically, my mum was a makeup artist, and my dad owned the studio that it was being filmed in. <laughs> so, as a makeup artist on a porno set, does that? What does that entail? I haven't really got into that conversation with my mum. I don't really think she would appreciate it. <laughs> Your turn. I have octophobia, which is a fear of the number. I need 10 hours sleep a night. I collect novelty coasters. The 
posters as the lie. It's the most boring. Oh, cannot be as interesting as you. Yawn. <sighs> Was I right? Sorry, that one is true. I'm chuffed. I was actually bluffing. I'm a collector myself. Of? Clocks. Small, handcrafted ones. Recently got this amazing cuckoo clock from Freiburg in Germany. Cool, well, we'll have to uh, compare a collection sometime. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> so, um, Soctophobia, the line? Well, there's only one way to find out. Just say the number. I want to go about this by legitimate means. Bingo. Good. That would be um, an inconvenient phobia to live with. <laughs> so, ten hours is true? Mm. I work at night, so I have irregular sleep patterns. Well, we have to work something out. <laughs> it's a lot of accommodating to do. Anyways, I was a junior clay pigeon shooting champion. I have more piercings that can't be seen than can. And I'm allergic to bullshit. Is this a trick one? I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit is the line. Wrong. I am totally allergic to bullshit. Very witty. No. Literally. You are literally allergic to the shit that comes out the back of a bull. I discovered it the hard way, cleaning out the stables at my uncle's farm. Um, that's also where I learned clay pigeon shooting, but I never touch a gun now. That sounds like an interesting childhood. So that means that the piercings are the lie, right? Surprising, eh? Did you have some good mental images, though? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't even give it a moment's thought. Can I loop back to the fact that your name isn't actually Azalea? I'm not a habitual liar, I promise. Just ask me anything. You're deflecting. <sighs> I said I'd explain another time, and there's plenty more to learn about me anyway. I want to know what you are really passionate about, Azalea. Good one. Doesn't get asked enough. Um... I've dabbled in all sorts, so whilst my business is what I enjoy at the moment, I know it won't last forever. You get bored easily? No, it's just I'm still searching for my true passion. Yeah, no, I get that. Well, I hope you find it soon. Thanks. So... Matt! Where are you? Why did I... you get that drunken place like this? Hey. What the hell? Sorry, love. Looks like you could use a bit of extra colour on that Halloween costume. <laughs> Oi! Prick! That's not on. Are you really going to come at me like this? Uh, Azalea, leave. I can handle myself, Ryan. Listen to your boyfriend, Lady Dracula. You've got a big mouth, haven't you? Yeah, I'm very witty. Apologise to me. Right now. Or what? I'll get you kicked out. Ruin your big night out with the lads unless they've abandoned you on purpose. All right. Sorry. Thanks for letting me handle that. No worries. Here. Double thanks. Looks good, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it goes well with the pentagram, so. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, hang on. Honestly, it's cool. Uh, no, I appreciate the offer, but could we split it? Go on, then.
So that was really cool, Ryan. Thanks for the game, too. Yeah, no, of course. Um, can't really believe you're still around after some of my truths. <laughs> Are you okay getting home? Yeah, I'll order a cab now. Fancy waiting with me? Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Who's gonna get the third date? No commentary, please. He's scrolling. Um, scrolling back. Oh. Hello, um, Azalea, it is Ryan speaking from the other night. Um, I, how are you? I'm uh, very good. Um, I was wondering if you would like to uh, maybe get some dinner, some drinks or something? Yeah? Yeah, yes, okay, uh, great. Um, okay, I will send you a message. I know a cool bar we could go to. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bye, Lydia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She said yeah. She said yes. You're not gonna be terminally alone. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. I was hand washing the jumper. Oh, thank you. You didn't have to do that. Uh, and you aren't late, by the way. Why did you retract it then? <laughs> uh, who's that on your screensaver? Uh, that is my best mate, Misha. Oh, you guys look cute together. No, 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 no. It was never like that. How come? She's gorgeous. I don't know. It was just never a thing. There's always a reason, even if it's a simple one. Hey, we just didn't fancy each other. We really are not each other's types. Why do I feel bad for you guys? <laughs> oh, don't. Um, it was a great foundation to start off a friendship. Like, we are unequivocally unattracted to each other. Well, luckily for you, attraction is very subjective. Yeah, I mean, one woman's trash could be another woman's treasure. <laughs> it sounded better in my head. Uh, food. Let's. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. What are you thinking? They got a lot of vegan options. Mm -hmm. oh, organic vegan tapas bread. Fancy giving it a whirl? Why not? Get it. Do you cook? Yeah, quite a lot. You? No, never. You're first. gonna love this. Mm. What's the verdict? Remind me of everything. We had patatas bravas, fried vegan cheese balls, vegan empanadas, garlic and pasty stuffed mushrooms, and my personal favorite, padron peppers. To be honest, I, I, I am actually a little bit surprised I didn't even miss the meat. I don't think I'll go back. Welcome to Team Vegan. How do they get that much flavor into the empanadas? Well, I think I tasted some sauteed mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Some onion, pepper, and a shit ton of herbs. <laughs> what? Do you know what the herb was? It was. There was. I think it was like basil. Oh, I thought it was coriander. It's definitely not coriander. <laughs> I don't cook very frequently, so. Tastes like soap. Obviously, most countries' cuisines are meat dominant, but I feel like our generation are going plant based in a meaningful way. Yeah, I mean, for us growing up, most of the dinners we would have had at home would have been meat. Same beef, pork. The old lamb, rabbit, you name it, bloody oysters. It's very fancy. Yeah, they are. <sighs> My real name, it's Tallulah Fordingham. Fordingham? Uh... Yeah. That Fordingham. I see. 
Your family is a massive deal. <sighs> Lula wanted to disassociate from them because Azalea is an activist against everything they stand for. So, are there any causes that you're passionate about? Yeah, but what exactly about them didn't you like? The list includes elitist attitudes, questionable political involvement, and a cherry on the top fox hunting. Simply, the biggest cause I believe in would be equal rights for it. Everyone. Isn't it crazy that something so simple is an ideal? Changing a mindset doesn't happen overnight. Are you um, active or passive in your actions to affect change? After all, most prejudices are invisible. Yeah, I would say many aren't even conscious a lot of the time. That's on microaggressions. No, I would call someone out if they did something out of step. I don't think it's enough to be not racist and not sexist. I think if you actually want something to change and something to happen, you need to be anti-racist and anti-sexist. And if something happens and you see it in front of you, I think you need to call them out on it. Because otherwise, why would they change? Exactly. You know? I believe personally that being anti-isms is the only way to educate people. Do you fancy something sweet? Not for one, but I might have a nibble of yours, if you're cool with that. No problem. What's good is that? Well, I have a surprise for you. Well, it's actually more of a digestive than a dessert, but... Kombucha. Yeah, kombucha. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. Smells interesting. Did you make it yourself? No, no, don't worry. I ordered it online, so it has been properly made. Where from? It is from Guatemala. Uh, no, no, it is from uh, Guadalupe. Mm. Mm. Really wild flavor. Yeah? Ooh. Oh. No, I'm still getting used to it. Oh, sick. Mm. You're just yeah. chugging, chugging that down, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not a surprised person, but I appreciate the effort. I did a bit of research. It's, it's you know, it's come from a little small local farm in Guadalupe. Nice. So, um... <sighs> I'm pretty into you, and, um... These past couple of dates have been the best I've had so far. I was hoping you felt the same way. I'm pretty into you too. That's a relief. So what do we do now? You can kiss me if you like. You okay? Bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Uh oh. Zelia? I guess I am. I'm, I'm Ryan. Tony, nice to meet you. Sorry, I've got a match tomorrow, so I've got to keep limber. Yeah, I was going to ask, um, <laughs> what is it, a sports match? Do you play locally? No, it's my job, actually. I'm a footballer. Oh, shit. Should you be out dating the night before a match? Oh, don't worry. It's fine as long as I'm in bed by 12. Don't drink, not an alcoholic. And don't have sex. Uh, what's your position? Reverse cowgirl. 
know um, what is your football position. What do you think? <laughs> well, that's, that's a tough one. Well, just say which area of the pitch. I'll narrow it down for you. I'm not tall enough to be a goalkeeper. I am a keeper in other ways, though. Well, you are doing your pre-match conditioning, which makes me think that you are reliable. And I think reliability is important in a defender, so I'm going to say defence. Win a win a chicken dinner. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> Do you like sports yourself? Uh, it's not my biggest interest. Well, let me change the question then. Do you like team sports or individual sports? Is this going to tell you something deeper about me? Maybe. Team sports? I think there's an interesting element with, like, the fans, because they're supporting where they're from. It just adds... They're more passionate, so there's, like, a tribalism to it, which is a bit fun. When enjoyed responsibly. Yes. Nobody wants a hooligan. Team sports also has, like, this unique layer of complexity in creating tactics for a group rather than the individual. Mm-hmm. So the chemistry is important. Exactly. That was pretty smooth, wasn't it? <laughs> it was very smooth. It's not your phone. Is, is this reminding me to carbload tomorrow? What are you having, Pasta? Footballer's best friend. <laughs> this is your halfway warning, guys. That is three minutes to go. So, um, how did you become a pro? I'd say my key influence was my dad. He used to take me to practices, to matches. He knew I fell in love with it and did everything to cultivate my passion. The kit, the travelling, consoling me after bad performances. <laughs> Are you close with your parents? No, no, I wanted to ask you more. We ain't got time, my lad. Tell me. If you want to, of course. Yeah, like you, I'd be really close to my dad. He kind of taught me what it meant to be like a man, to be open-minded, which for him actually was more about your mindset than any specific character trait. Yes, lads. <laughs> <laughs> We're lucky, eh? I think what I got from my dad was humility. He taught me how to keep my feet on the ground and appreciate what I have, as well as what I want. What would you say you inherited from your dad? Oh, God, that is tricky. Uh, on the positive side, I would like to hope that I am a good listener, that I am supportive. He definitely taught me how to take responsibility when I need to, and I think that I can keep my cool under pressure. Any negative traits? Yeah, uh, some pretty shitty dad jokes. <laughs> uh, oh, and don't annoy me when I'm watching TV. I feel like that's universal for most dads. <laughs> I think the most negative thing I've inherited from my dad is my stubbornness. How bad are we talking? Like, bad? Really bad? If you want to get through to me, you have to really persist. And even then, sometimes the persistence really backfires and just pisses me off. OK, noted. Very wise. <laughs> got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Ooh, we're in stoppage time. <laughs> what? Football's the best sport for making analogies. No. <laughs> <laughs> do you fancy another quick challenge? Yes, yes. But what do you want to do? Well, there's conversation starters and riddles, apparently. Convenient. OK. A man looks at a painting and says, brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father is my father's son. Who's in the painting, the man or his son? Brothers and sisters, I have none. That man's father. Father's son. It is the man himself. That's what I was going to say, but a draw's no fun. I'll say man's son. But how do we find the answer? Oh, is it it's folded in? OK. More thoughts gone into this event than I gave it credit for. The man's son! Get in! Oh, God's sake! Oh. You only got that because you swapped your answer. You did. You thought the man as well. Uh, a win's a win, right? No matter how you get it, eh? And that is time, everyone. Move on to your next day. We crammed a lot into that. Yes, we did. Um, yeah, it was great to meet you, Tony. Yeah. Is that short for Antonia? It's but on, but everyone calls me Tony. Do you want to keep in touch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's your handle? At TN7. Tony Newton and my shirt number seven. That is some main character shit right there. Get your business. I will not. Have a good night, Tony. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well, 
Aha, uh -huh. now let me tell you about Tony. She's mm -hmm. a football player. Wow. Professional. Wow. She was just quite laid back, um, sort of person who was like, give as good as you can get, you know? That sounds fun. Do you think there might be a future with the footballer? I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but yeah, I could. I, I'd, lo I'd love to see her again. So, what's the next move? Well, I have one option. So, I think I'm gonna send a message. Yeah, one's better than none. One is definitely better than none. Proud of you. Peace. Right, right, lad. What time have you called it? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I've got a valid excuse. What happened to you? I'll tell you in a sec, out my way. Basically, I went in for a 50-50 ball in my match today, crunched my ankle. So, by 50-50 ball, do you mean that you went in, like, two-footed? Did you go in recklessly? Or did you go... You almost went in head first, did you? Cheeky, yeah. <laughs> No, I won the ball. <laughs> you should see the other girl. What, is she in two boots? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, seriously, uh, like, I, I hope it's not that bad. No, it'll be fine. And I get such lovely messages from my fans online, so that keeps my spirits up. They must be really cool, having your own fan base. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's small, but well-formed. And um, looking forward to getting a message from my newest follower. Oh, <laughs> you spotted me. Um... I feel special. Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> Most of my followers are female, so Orion stood out. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'll know for future. <laughs> Just gotta keep that head in check. <laughs> would you like a drink? Yeah, I'd love one. Yeah? What would you like? Beer? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. I used to always do that cheers where you cheers and then I'd never take a drink afterwards. I've heard that's bad luck. That's seven years bad sex, apparently. Cheers. So, would you say that you're quite a rough player? I prefer daring. Daring, mm. okay. Will we put that to the test? Do you want to play a game of truth or dare? It might be a good way to get to know each other. Well, only if I get to ask first. What? Truth or dare. Why do you get to go first? Well, look, this isn't your average day. My foot's in the boot. I need to warm into it. OK. I will go with truth. Oh, you're easing your way into it as well. OK. Um, where is the weirdest place you've peed? Are you for real? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, guys abuse the fact that they can just pee on the go. Not all guys. And you, specifically? Um, I... I don't know, I've gone in a bush plenty of times for, like, convenience, but I'm not a very adventurous urinator, I'm sorry to say. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. I thought you would have wanted a more outrageous answer. No, on this one, actually, the more sophisticated answer is great. A sophisticated urinator. My oh, man. OK, it is your turn. Truth or dare? Dare, straight in. Remember, I'm injured. Yeah, otherwise I'd have you cartwheeling around the bar if you weren't. Well, I'd have done it. I, I really do believe that you would have. Let me read your DMs. Oh, really? I mean, most of the messages are nice and supportive, but some, some, some people are creeps. Yeah, but they're the fun ones. They're the ones I want to see. <sighs> if that wasn't so competitive, I wouldn't be doing this. How bad are we talking? Should I prepare myself before I see these? I think they're okay, I mean... Okay, first one is... These are all very nice. Nice. Picture of your feet, please. This guy is very keen on your feet. Is that a common thing? Do you get that a lot? Yeah, especially with football. <laughs> Weird. 
we oh here we go here we go tony here are the photos okay we have a guy here and he says your abs look great but here are mine and he has a picture of his abs oh and you replied with they're not all creeps anyway moving swiftly on true for dare you just don't mess about, do you? It's about creating tempo, right, lad? Life's just one big training drill to you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, I'm only kidding. But hurry up. There. Tempo, tempo, come on. <laughs> OK. Talk to me for the next 30 seconds while holding your orgasm face. How the hell am I supposed to know what that looks like? Oh, I don't know. Just imagine it. So, sorry, you want me to imagine sitting here in this bar that I'm having an orgasm? Oh, that's not there, isn't it? <sighs> Oh, oh. Uh, here's a fact for you. The amount of people older than you never goes up. That's the stuff you think about. Mm, 30 seconds is a very long time to hold an orgasm face. Oh, I'm getting the voice too. Anything for you, Misha. Misha? Uh, she, no, um, she's, she's, uh, she's my best friend. Anyway, um, shall we do one last round? Why not? Truth. I haven't even asked you yet. It's my job to think ahead, yeah? I've got to keep this pace up. Give me a moment. I'm getting there. Got one. What is your worst intimate experience? Oh, that's actually easy. We went on a pre-season tour of Estonia, and on the last night, went to this club in Tallinn. I met this gorgeous local boy, lovely. Great dancer, went back to our hotel, and it was all fine. But then the language barrier really made it one of the most dysfunctional one-night stands I've ever had. Surely sex is a pretty universal language. To a certain extent, but when it comes to giving um, specific instructions. My mind is racing, <laughs> but I won't ask. Um, but to be fair to him, though, like, some things that women want are it's a bit of a foreign language to all men, so... We... Did you read that on a T-shirt? Yeah, it's on the back. It's an excuse, but, you know, it starts up a conversation. Your turn, right? True for dare, double or nothing. OK, OK, well, there's a lot riding on this one, then. Well, there's nothing like a strong finish. <laughs> Impress me. Let's finish with a bang. Let's do a dare. OK, I dare you to write something on my boot. That is a dare for you, too. How long do you have the boot on for? A couple of weeks. Unless it gets upgraded to a cast. OK, um... All right, I won't look. Don't look, yeah, no looking. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you sneaking a beat? No. Your eyes are open. <laughs> Close them. OK. Oh, it feels like you're drawing something. Oh, God, it's going to be a penis, isn't it? Give me a little bit of credit. I'm more inventive than that. OK? <laughs> Go on. Camel. Where is the camel? It's on my toe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> camel toe. So childish. But you gave me the idea. You said, was I drawing a penis? So I was like, <laughs> I, I actually had to like change it up a bit because I kind of was going to do that, but yeah. then I changed it up. Oh, right. Is that is the hump? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you get it. Don't look too close. <laughs> Thanks. So best to look with that. Ow. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I think it looks good. Better than a penis, really, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> That's me. What do we have? Another alarm to carb load? No, it's my dad. I should take this. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pops. Yeah, ankle's fine. I'm just out with a friend. The noise in the background. We're, we're just out, but I've got my foot elevated. Dad, I am recovering. I, it's not harmful here. OK. All right, Dad. OK. Yeah, I'll leave now. So you always shout at you like that? Only when I deserve it. I don't think anyone deserves to be shouted at like that. Well, he's right. I've got fresh injury and I, and I should be at home resting, really. Yeah, but do you really need someone to be that tough on you? I mean, it's kind of made me who I am today. Made me the player I am. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it, 
The reason I'm asking is just so long as it doesn't upset you. No, it doesn't affect me mentally. I mean, I might have missed out on a few things when I was a teenager, you know? Didn't do the things regular teenagers did. Or the things that regular adults do? I mean, I guess, but I'm also living my dream. The sacrifices that go along with it, isn't it? It's part of the job. Anyway, I should go. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the loo first. Yeah. Do you wanna hang it up or? All right. You all good to go? Yeah. Cool. I will find a waiter and we'll just pay the bill. Oh, no, no, I, I got it on my way back from the toilet. You've paid? You cheeky. Well, it's my fault we're ending early, so. Yeah, well, thank you. Anytime. I mean it. I had a cracking night. Yeah, so did I. Um, did you get your dad to call you deliberately just to leave me wanting more? <laughs> Is that what happened? Shit, must have did. Yeah. Are you OK getting home? Yeah. I've ordered a cab, but you can hop in with me if you like. Help me home. Yeah. So who's gonna get the third date? <laughs> no commentary, please. <laughs> He's scrolling. Um scrolling back. Oh. Hey, Tony. I had a really good time the other night, so I was wondering if you would like to meet up and we could go get a drink. Yes, I, ho I hope your leg's doing uh, better as well. Okay, um, so I will definitely book a place where we can do that, and that'll be great, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, yes, uh, see, you. see you later. Bye. Amazing. That's a relief. Oh, your suit is dry. And do not mention it. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. I think I'm going to have the dirtiest, unhealthiest burger there is. And I think that I will join you in that. <laughs> If you don't slow down there, you're gonna have a full start and 11 a beer bottle soon. Well, I never get to drink on the off season, so get in now. Should you not be more healthy, though, if you're less active? You sound like my dad. Oh, no, sorry, I don't mean. I'm, mess I'm messing with you. I even brought a game for tonight. I've had so much time on my hands, I made a game. No way. Yeah. Right, we got two piles. Mm hmm. I've got two piles. And then these ones, they're photos of you and me. Dare I ask how you got them? Social media. Ah, oh, shit. OK, what are the other two piles? Captions. So what, how does the, what are the rules of the game? What do we do then? We take it in turns to pick a photo and a caption and see what combination we get. OK, here we go. Will you do photo card first? I'll do caption? Yep. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no but that photo is of when I'm in school. Yeah. And we had a pyjamas party. And um, I went a little bit further than everyone else. Everyone wore their own pyjamas, but I went and actually bought women's silk pyjamas. Pink, which I think is my colour. Gorgeous. What were you like at school? What, like, if, the, if you were in a high school movie, what clique would you be in? Oh, God. Um... I was probably a jock. I was pretty sporty back then. Snap. I'd say you were a queen jock. I was, yeah, but um, it was a bit different than female sports. There was like a hierarchy. If you played netball and tennis, you were feminine, and that was pretty cool. But if you played rugby and football, it was less cool. Oh, OK. Sorry you had to go through that. No, it gave me a bit of fight. You definitely have some of that. <laughs> Next round. 
Yep. This time, you pick a photo of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. What's that? Oh, man. I lost my shit when we won that game. I scored a last minute winner. You scored? I didn't think you had that in you. I'll take that. Um... <laughs> I'm only kidding. <getting> right. <laughs> What's the caption? Tony, after hearing about Brexit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, no, my real reaction was actually the complete opposite of that. Although, I don't know if it was the same for my wider family. Why? Did they vote to leave Europe? Yeah. The European Union stood for a lot of things that they didn't believe in. But I know we should steer clear of politics. It's ancient news, right? Hmm. Yeah, uh, no, I voted Remain as well. Brexit really hit home with my industry. We have so many amazing foreign players, coaches, the fans. It just felt like a big screw you. And ultimately, at the end of the day, it's going to be us who are screwed over in the long run. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get back to caption time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no! I keep telling me you to delete that photo. <laughs> what is the context of this glorious photo? What got Ryan through the COVID-19 pandemic? <laughs> okay. Well, that hardly got you through it. <laughs> no baking banana bread or 5K runs then. No, I am a simple man. Picking my nose will do it for me. <laughs> Hours a day. Oh, jeez. I can't believe that bloody virus took two whole years of our lives. Yeah, God, I know. I mean, I don't want to dwell on it, but did it affect you much, or...? I mean, obviously, professional sports shut down for a bit. I didn't lose anyone. So that was great. But, I mean, my family definitely suffered mentally. We're such a social family and, and we were just stripped of it. It really messed people that, around. Yeah, that was the toughest thing for me as well. Like, I was living alone during it. Um, I didn't have a garden, I didn't have a balcony or anything. So I literally had zero face-to-face -face contact for weeks and weeks. We just got to make up for lost time then. <laughs> oh, um, out of curiosity, did you get vaccinated? I didn't actually. No, I was, I was worried it'd be detrimental to my sporting performance. Well, couldn't COVID have an effect on your sporting performance? I mean, yeah, but getting the vaccine was something I had control over. Yeah, no, I understand that. Like, better safe than sorry. I just had too much to lose. Thanks for seeing my side of it, though. I've lost friends over it. You're going to have to do a little bit more than that to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Need one more round in you. Go on in. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, Tony, I have a question about this card. Shit. I don't know how that got in there. So I'm not the only guy you play this game with? The game's a dating staple of mine. My ex gave me the idea. I mean, I'm, I'm really sorry you had to find out like this. How long do you plan on dating me and... Jed. Me and Jed. Uh, sorry, it's actually Andre. Oh, great. So how long do you plan on dating me, Jed, and Andre? I'm sorry, Ryan. Dating multiple people it's good for me at this time. I need to make sure the person I let in my life is the right one. Yeah, I mean, I guess dating multiple people is the modern way. But it's not going to be too much longer until I need to know where I stand. Absolutely. Multi-dating is exhausting, even for me. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Get used to this injury malarkey. Really? No, it's shite. <laughs> but injuries are an occupational hazard. All it takes is one wrong movement or a bad tackle from an opponent. Yeah, but plus, it, it, it doesn't seem too serious. No, I mean, it's not career threatener. But I've seen it happen to mates with ACLs and broken legs. It's a fragile career, Dad always warned me. He's been looking at post football career options, thinks I should get into property. So I'm going to do a course through my rehab. I mean, it sounds like your dad has your back on this one. He always does. So, we've probably reached that stage of the evening where we should put our cards on the table. 
That was not a pun. <laughs> Cheesy bastard. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I really like you. Uh, we've laughed a lot, got serious the odd time. Um, even with one good foot, you're still running rings around me. So I kind of hope you feel the same. I'm glad you said it first, Ryan, lad, because I would have fluffed it. I totally feel the same way. You're a cracker. So, can I kiss you? You're going to have to. I can't lean in, lad. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you okay? It just cost me two weeks. It's fine. Oh, God, I'm sorry. It's all right. Don't tell your dad. <laughs> Rain check on the first kiss? Yeah. Go on, then. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Ryan. Ryan, I'm Kathleen. Sorry, I just wanted to squeeze in a quick page. Do you mind if I get to the bottom? Yeah, by all means, fire away. <laughs> Done. All yours. What are you reading? Uh, the Evolution of Bond Forming Dynamics Across the 21st Century by Professor Gertrude von Nosselhoff. Well, it must be a pretty good read if you're sneaking in pages in between dates. Oh, no, no, no. I have to finish it for a seminar tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a PhD student in behavioral psychology. Uh, what do you think of it? She has some interesting points. The chapter I'm on covers the influence of pop culture on behavioral modeling and attraction dynamics. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> no, that does sound interesting, but um, I mean, Please don't ask my opinion on it, because I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't expect that of you. But if this goes well, maybe you'll learn a little something. Okay, so you're here because you're looking for a study buddy. No, quite the opposite. I need someone to keep me out of the library occasionally. <laughs> so the age-old work-life conflict. Which side of it do you fall on? Am I allowed to say that balance is best? No. No fence sitting one or the other. Work is it's just a necessity. I mean, any moment I'm not in work or on the clock, I can devote to whatever I actually want to do. So you're a nine to fiver? At the very most. I don't think I could stay out of the library that much. Anyway, I have a confession to make. OK, already. Everyone tells me that for whatever reason, I haven't lived. I don't believe that. I've. Never been to a nightclub. Never. What, your fourth stint as a student and you've never even <laughs> set foot in a nightclub? I would rather spend the day in a cafe with a, a book and my laptop. This is your halfway warning, guys. Halfway. So you are still studying to become a more qualified psychologist. <laughs> the more you know, the more you earn. So where do you see yourself in five years? Sorry, I researched good speed dating questions before tonight. And that's what you got? <laughs> it sounds a little bit more like you researched good job interview questions instead. <laughs> I want a happy family by then. I just want to be in a loving relationship and however many kids life blesses me with. OK, so say life has blessed you with one child, boy or girl. OK, uh, blessed was a bit of a lame choice of words. <laughs> Oh, it was sweet. It was sweet. That's what every guy wants to hear on a first date. <laughs> I definitely want a girl. Yeah, I want a girl. I want to buy the dresses. I want, I want to do the hair. I want to learn how to do it. I just, I've never had any sister or anything, so I just think it would really change my life. I've seen some friends who've had daughters for the first time, and it, it yeah, it really changes them. Oh, you want to be a girl dad. I want to be a girl dad. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> Question. How do I know that all of this isn't part of your PhD thesis? That all the guys here aren't just your guinea pigs? You don't. 
but a study at the University of Virginia found that we are more intrigued by those whose thoughts and feelings are unclear. You have a study for everything. Is that supposed to be my key takeaway from today? Uh, I'll offer you a better one. From Professor Nosselhoff? I'll find one from the start of the book. Ah, here we go. This is a good one. When we set off on a journey, we are riddled with excitement or apprehension. Nothing in between. It's not exactly one you'd read in the toilet, is it? <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> well, that's Nosselhoff's opinion, but I think that apprehension is our body's way of telling us that something is worth doing despite the risks. Hmm. You know, we can actually reprogram our brains to interpret nerves as excitement. They're similar chemicals. I did that before coming tonight. Is, like, would you do that before tests as well, that sort of thing? Oh, yeah. Very helpful for tests. Yeah, it's clever, isn't it? Mm, brain's clever. Not mine. <laughs> got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Well, how do you fancy spending the final minute? Why not leave that to Professor Von Nosselhop again? Let's get a takeaway from the end of the book. People only care about the end of the book. I want the answers. All right. Right now, come on, I'm ready. Final words from the book. Everything is transient. Time, life, relationships, none belong to us. Only our purpose does. Around it, all else is determined. So the right things will enter the orbit that we create around ourselves. Is that what that means? Exactly. Every decision we make affects who's pulled into that orbit, whether we know it or not. The quote is actually really relevant to my life. I'm finally focusing on my orbit and mine alone. Thanks for listening. No problem. And I'm glad to hear you're doing that. That's your lot, ladies and gents. Time's up. Let's be moving on. This was fun, Ryan. Yes, it was. It was really great to meet you, Kathleen. So I'm not the biggest social media user, but they say that's the best way to keep in touch nowadays. <laughs> What's Professor Von Nozzelhoff say? <laughs> Who do you think I got it from? <laughs> At Kathleen Parker 88. Okay. I got it. Have a nice evening. You too. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well... There was Kathleen, who was a PhD student studying psychology. She was very smart. She was reading on our date. She was just very smart. It was a little bit intimidating. Do you think there'll be more from Kathleen? There could be, yeah. I mean, I kind of felt like, yeah, we got on well. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So, what's the next move? Well, I have one option. So, I think I'm gonna send a message. Yeah, one's better than none. One is definitely better than none. Proud of you. Peace. Catches the worm. Um, have you been waiting long? No, no, I was just passing time with a bit of people watching. I love thinking about what brought all these humans to cross paths with me. Do you have any good stories? Um, yeah, that, that couple over there. Yeah, don't look, don't look, don't look. They're having a relationship showdown. When they arrived, he was really physically affectionate with her. But then as she became more animated, he withdrew into himself. Mm, do you think it's over? She'll hear him out, but her body language suggests she's made up her mind. How do you take breakups? Wait, wait, wait. I want to know, is there anything that he could do that could save the relationship? It really depends on how unhappy she is. Well, 
If someone doesn't want to be in the relationship, I don't think there's any point trying to make them stay. I think you have to respect their decision. Um, and I think you need to respect yourself enough to walk away. That takes a lot of maturity, especially through something that can feel humiliating. Unless you weren't that invested in the first place and she did you a favor. No comment. <laughs> so, I saw that you found me on social media. <laughs> yes. I hope you don't mind the likes. Not at all. I'm awful at it, so I appreciate the support. No, you're not. You have some great, cool, natural images on there. I really like seeing a person's social media because I think it's a great little insight into them. Yeah, but they can also create false representations of themselves. Yes, they can, but even that is an interesting insight in itself. Very true. Cheers. It's very good wine. It is French. My knowledge on wine is <laughs> not fantastic. Old world would be like French, like European. California newer. Yeah. How is the studying going? <laughs> well, I've been living in the library, but uh, what's new there? <laughs> we did cover an interesting topic, though. You know how we have different styles of learning and communication? Well, broadly speaking, there are two distinct ways of thinking, emotional or rational. OK, can you tell what I am? I can evaluate you, but I take no responsibility if you don't like the results. No, except that we are on a second date, so a bad evaluation also reflects on you. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So. How are you at making new friends? Do you actively engage with everyone and anyone, or are you a lone wolf? Can I not be somewhere in between? Like that I'm I'm selective with my company? No, you have to pick one side of the spectrum. I mean, I can socialize when I need to. As we can see. Yes. Um, most of the time, I would prefer my own company. I mean, I guess you could call me a loner. No, not at all. I definitely appreciate an introverted energy. <laughs> What's the next question? This is a good one. Does seeing other people cry move you to cry yourself? OK, um, that was very specific. Oh, these questions are rooted in psychological study. So you didn't just get them online? No. Uh, I definitely cry with people. A really good friend of mine um, had a kid a couple of years ago. And his name is Harry. And I was invited to his nursery school's sports day. And they had a race at one stage. So they had all the kids were involved. Some kids could only crawl, some could walk, and then some were in between. So they gave them, like, a, a stroller. That is so sweet and very inclusive. Very inclusive, yes. Um, my friend's little son, Harry, uh, was on the stroller. So he, he kind of was at that stage where he could, like, stand up and, like, you know, like a little drunk fella and kind of like, <laughs> have to hold on to things. So the race starts. And one of the walking kids just tears off straight past him. So Harry kind of <laughs> fell over. Yes. And so when he was getting back up, he couldn't get the, the stroller back up. So he just started walking for the first time. No, no way. No, he did. He did. And my friend went to the finish line and was waiting for him. I was calling and was like, Harry, come on, Harry. Oh God. <laughs> did he catch up to the walker? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he made it there in the end, and then my friend started crying when he got to the end, which kind of, it, it, it set me off. That's a lovely story. Yeah, yeah, no, it really was a great day. Excuse me, just popping to the loo. <laughs> Hello, hello. <laughs> what did I miss? Not much. Um, wait, so what's next? Here's a big one. Are you a planner or a spur of the moment person? So am I calculated or spontaneous? That's a more erudite way of putting it. <laughs> erudite, what? Like articulate. Yes, articulate, yes. Um, 
I have to admit, I am a serial planner. Even things you didn't think could be planned, I will have a spreadsheet, <laughs> I will have a schedule, I will have everything. Do you break down all of your dates into a spreadsheet? No. No, come on, that's too much even for me. Do people do that? Oh, you'd be shocked. Do you? Next up, <laughs> do you like to actively or passively participate in a narrative? So if someone is telling a story, how does it unfold in your head? Like, do I experience it in the first or the third person? Exactly. <laughs> do you actively visualize yourself in the action or do you passively absorb it from a distant perspective? Oh, I think I'm definitely passive. I just like to sit back, watch the movie unfold, and I just don't overthink it. I'm the same. I have enough to experience in my own life without transposing myself into others. <laughs> Final question, Ryan. Feet don't fail me now. You can't fail. Don't make it less dramatic. Do you get impatient with people less efficient than yourself? Like how the waiter hasn't taken our food order yet. Oh, awkward. I, I think it's order at the bar. Ooh, I guess I'll let him off that one then. Uh, I think getting impatient is pointless. Like, what do you actually gain from getting upset at someone else's shortcomings? It doesn't change anything. Very little. You just overburden yourself with angst. Or, I mean, you just end up discouraging others. Patience is a virtue. So, what is the verdict? Based on your answers, you are a rational thinker. You are logic-focused and pragmatic. You prefer to analyze concrete details in a situation. Is that good for dating? Some people date successfully by ticking a set of boxes. Okay, but you also need an emotional connection too. Yeah, like anything, you need an emotional connection to balance out the rationality. So yours was particularly about like the pop culture influence on behavioral... Modeling and attraction dynamics. And I think that that's something that's really relevant right now, especially with like um, all the reality dating shows. But, like, What do you do if you're not studying? Um, I like to read, which is just studying. Not isn't far it? off of yeah. <laughs>
first proper dinner date since my last relationship. Was it a regular thing? Mm. Not when it wasn't cooked by me. He wanted me to do all the domestic duties. And you didn't want to be a housewife? No. Playing devil's advocate, though, I was a student and he was earning all of the household income. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure there was a compromise you could have found. We never did. He wanted me to quit my studies, and the rest is history. So you did you, and you stuck to what he wanted to do. I respect that. that. That takes guts. Is there an income setup that you would prefer? Uh, well, living in London is pretty hard on either these days. I know. What even is a living wage in this city? <laughs> I feel like a single income relationship is workable, provided it's with the right person. It just takes a bit of teamwork. I agree. I know I've been a student forever, <laughs> and it'll be two or three more years before I earn a proper income, but once I do, I'm more than happy to contribute equally. Mm, power couple vibes? Oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thank you for coming today. That's a really great spot. Mm. It's public but private. People open up more in intimate settings. Do they? Okay, well, tell me something new then. Um, I've got a scar under my hair. Oh, how did that happen? Actually, there's, um, there's something else I should tell you. No, no, I want to know about the scar. I'm in the middle of divorce proceedings. It's uncharted territory for me. You're the first person I've got this far with since my marriage ended. We've been separated for two years. My education was the big problem. I couldn't contribute financially, and I wasn't willing to have a child before I graduated. He couldn't wait. I, I totally understand if that's an issue. I'm so sorry again. No, look, it doesn't bother me one iota. Past is the past. Thank you, Ryan. I want your academic opinion on something. Oh, golly. Are we compatible? Like, what are our prospects beyond this? Well, we wouldn't have made it this far if we weren't at least a little bit compatible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there is still one area that uh, we don't have much data on. And what is that? Sexual compatibility. It can be developed over time. But uh, normally it's better if it's there from the start. Okay, um, aside from, you know, the, the, the obvious way, mm -hmm. um, is there a way for us to estimate what that compatibility would be? With theory? What kind of lover are you? I mean, in a nutshell, I don't need the playbook. Uh... As I am speaking to an almost professional, I do have a few kinks that I like to explore beyond the conventional stuff. I'm intrigued. Well, I can't tell you. I mean, that would be giving you the playbook. True. But it sounds similar to mine. I'm very adventurous. <laughs> I see. I still need to gather some data before my hypothesis. Mm -hmm. If you had to pick, do you prefer to give or receive? I mean, you stressed the hard because you knew I would have said both. Oh, you are very smart. Has anyone ever told you that? Yes, actually, yeah, they have. It was almost as sarcastic as you just did. <laughs> I am a giver, definitely. Your reasons being? Well, I mean, I actually enjoy it, for one thing. Um, it's also much better when both people are having fun, because otherwise, it, it kind of just feels a bit like servicing. That's a nice way to put it. Also, it is a little bit of an ego boost if you can make the other person feel good. If your technique is good. <laughs> Those are very valid reasons. You are an attentive lover indeed. <laughs> okay, what do you want to know next? That's all I really needed. Okay. Well, what's the verdict? <laughs> Contrary to what I said, sexual chemistry is actually best discovered firsthand. Okay. 
That wasn't an invitation. <laughs> but I appreciate you being so open and honest. Okay. Only a half pint. Very conservative. Yeah, I just don't want to get too smashed too early, you know? I do. Barkeep, can we get some more wine for this one, then? <laughs> so, what are you doing tomorrow? Books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Hopefully, I'll be able to retain some information. <laughs> wine tends to give me brain fog. <laughs> so I'm thinking I should ask where your head's at. Are we not still on the casual dating stage? Uh, we are. I just don't want either of us to waste our time. OK. Yeah, no, I, I can appreciate that. I really like you, Kathleen. Um, I feel like we have connected in loads of different ways. And I would like to see if it could progress beyond casual dating. And I really hope you feel the same. Yeah, I, um, I do feel the same. <laughs> Is that giving you any more data for the compatibility test? <laughs> Sorry, I, I think I'm going to need a bigger sample size. Oh, OK. Good evening. I'm Derek, evening host. Hello, Derek. Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, unfortunately, the lady that was sat at this table, she had to leave early. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, right. So are you filling in for her? Did she pull a runner when she saw me? No, nothing of the sort. She uh, is a musician, had a gig to get to. Well, that is pretty fair. That's a good alibi. How did the rest of them go? Find what you're looking for? Oh, is she the last one? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of glad about that, because I don't really know how many more I had left in me. Well, I'm sure you made a fantastic impression. Yeah, no, I've met some great people, but I think it's just too early to tell. Speed dating is just a uh, peak curiosity rather than find love. It's just like a little teaser, isn't it? You just kind of just get to know them, and just as you're getting there... It's like tapas, I like to say. <laughs> well, a little bit of everything. Love tapas, yeah. <laughs> some olives. I do have to call you out, though, because there's sometimes when I'm really, the date's going well, and then just then I hear you screaming out. It could be like <laughs> after 30 seconds. I need to be able to give you a signal or something. <laughs> How long have you been hosting? I have lots of hosting experience, but specifically the speed date and stuff, just at the beginning of lockdown. So those were digital, I presume? Mm hmm. Correct. For me, Finding love is the most formative journey of our lives, and I just wanted to help people continue that journey, despite the circumstances. Having said that, there is no real substitute for meeting someone special in person. So from these, have you ever had any marriages develop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had a couple. Uh, even a couple of babies named after me. Yeah. <laughs> Need to put it in my bio. Pregnancy facilitator, Derek. No, you, you really don't, <laughs> because that sounds like something that would be on a T-shirt on a lad's holiday. <laughs> the stag do t-shirts, you're right. Okay. I actually think I've seen them before. I sell like hotcakes, all right. <laughs> so how did you hear about us? I was duped into coming here this evening. I thought I was going out for a drink with my best mate, Misha, and here I am. Uh, she's actually somewhere here. She's on a date somewhere, I don't know. But... Well, I, I love a strong male-female friendship. Do you prefer the company of women or men? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll rephrase. Who do you feel like you naturally engage with more easily? I could shoot the shit with anyone. But no, but like, with your job, you must be the same. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, no one's going to enjoy an event if they can't approach their host. So I think it's the suit as well. <laughs> it is something. Well, I am glad you felt you could approach me too. Oh, you made it very easy. Thank you, Ryan. You are welcome. Derek.
You are halfway, guys. Halfway. God. Don't tell anyone I forgot. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> Thanks. So tell me, what is the best way to approach all of this? Well, aside from being yourself. Well, let me rephrase that. Do you have any less crap advice? No, I don't. Sorry. The thing is, there's so many different types of personalities in here. One person's poison might be another person's paradise. Yeah, that is a fair point. Mm. Okay, I'll pose you this. Are you looking for someone more lively or laid back? Because that may decide what kind of energy you want to exude yourself. Now, both are brilliant, but markedly different. I definitely want someone who is dynamic and a lively personality to just spice up my life. Ooh. Not to dominate, though. No, because that can just be a whole different thing. It can get toxic. Um, although, there's no harm in me being put in my place from time to time. No? Crack of the whip. <laughs> I never said I was into that. <laughs> I was wondering, has hosting these made you an expert in romance? What, like some kind of love guru? No. <laughs> no. No, come on. You must have more insight than the average guy. OK, wait, wait, OK. Has it ever helped in your personal life? Sadly, no. No, it's still very single. Why, did you have someone in mind for me? Yeah. Misha, she would love to meet you. She's here, I can introduce you. Um, I'm sure Misha's fab, but I won't be interested. It's a bit mean. What's wrong with her? Well, she's a her. Yeah, sorry. Um, no, 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 I shouldn't have assumed. That was silly of me. You're fine. Totally fine. So what other events do you host? So a lot for the queer community. So we do a lot of, obviously, speed dating. Um, we do traffic light parties, lock and key parties. All sorts, really. OK, it is your final minute, guys. Final minute. I need to stop forgetting. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what were we...? We were talking about your queer events. Yes. Um, yeah, you should come sometime. Sorry, are you assuming that I'm still going to be single after this? I don't know. Maybe see it as a safety net. I would love to. You know, just so long as you're hosting, of course. Naturally. And that, ladies and gents, is the end of tonight's event. I've been Derek, get home safe, and hope you had a good time. Thanks, Derek. Um, I'm actually kind of glad that the musician bailed. Oh, she was lovely. But I'm kind of glad too. But that is totally against the rules for me to say that. Is it also against the rules for me to ask for your socials? No. At Demore Events. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well, yeah, I and mean, absolutely nothing happened. I was supposed to be meeting um, for this day this musician, but she bailed. Mm -hmm. And then, do you remember the host? Yeah. Yeah, Derek is his name. So I was sitting there, and he came up and told me about um, the girl who had to leave. And then we sat down, we just started talking. You and Derek! <laughs> yeah, oh my God, yeah, he's I just. Love that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you, you saw plenty of him as well. He's just, he's, yeah, he's a cool guy. He's very, very suave. So would there be more with Derek? Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love that for you. Yeah, thank you. So, what's the next move? Well, I have one option. So, I think I'm gonna send a message. Yeah, one's better than none. One is definitely better than none. Proud of you. Peace.
Could I get a half pint, please? Thank you very much. Ryan, how's it going? Uh, it's good, good, not bad at all. How are you doing? Yeah, decent. I mean, Tube was a nightmare, but on the plus side, if there's any COVID, it would have definitely died off from the stench of BO. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I must admit, I was pretty surprised that you wanted to grab a drink with me. Why? You don't seem so bad. No, I'm above average. Do you think? Come on, no, <laughs> I didn't mean that. No, I thought we got on pretty damn well, so I just wanted to see you again. Will we get you a drink? Yes, I, I don't drink alcohol, but um, a mocktail would be great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking it, thank you, but I didn't want to say it. Thanks. Oh, well, cheers to yeah. you. It's been an unexpected day, but yes. Yeah. Oh, she's sweet. You don't want a pretzel, do you? Uh, no, I probably won't touch those. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. How's the Shirley Temple? Hmm. Not so sure on the Shirley, but the Temple's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. <laughs> um, I would say the main thing that I noticed was your confidence when you're up there and your way with words. Hmm. Yeah, well, gift of the gab. Part of the game, I guess. Yeah, I used to host all of the family Christmas game nights when I was a kid. And then the uni Christmas game nights. Listen, if you ever need a private host, I'm your guy. Can I take you up on that now? Sure, but we need another player. Well, that could be you too. Ah, OK. Sure. What to play? Um... OK. I've got it. You may have noticed at the speed dating night there were these conversation starters, riddles that were written on these little table number cards. OK, so a game of riddles. Mm -hmm. We will do one point for every correct answer. Perfect. Which month has 28 days? You just had that right off the top of your head, didn't you? I do this for a living, Ryan. <laughs> this is a trick question, isn't it? They all have at least 28 days. Hmm. Very good. Clever clogs. What can I say? OK, your time. Bear with me. Bear with me. Have a, have a sip. You know, do what you got to do. I got to find one here. OK, OK, OK. Fire up the search engine. Don't forget to close all your porn tabs. You see them. <laughs> Any leads? Um, I am tossing up between two different ones. Take your time. I've got an encyclopedia of riddles up here. So you better have a new one for me. You don't like to brag, do you? <laughs> OK. The person who uses it can neither see it nor feel it. What is it? I haven't heard that one before. See nor feel it? Oxygen? Wrong. <laughs> That's a good guess, though. That is a very good guess. It is a coffin. Oh, morbid. But kind of brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Might be stealing that. It, it, it's yours. You are welcome. Thanks. Yeah, I don't want to be buried in a coffin. I'd rather be cremated and then fired out of a cannon or something. <laughs> you ever wondered what happens after we die? Uh, I thought we were going to keep this a little bit lighthearted. Oh, you're the one who brought up the riddle about death. I did, didn't I? Uh, huh. I think there has to be something beyond this realm. I don't know, good and bad. Like a heaven and hell? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm kind of religious, so that theory works for me. Good riddle. Thank you very much. OK, your turn. I'm in the zone. Right, OK. A man. Rides out of town on Sunday. Stays in a hotel all night. And then the next day, he rides out of town on his horse on a Sunday. How is this possible? You trying to trick me. This is a trick one, isn't it? I'm not saying. This is one of the ones where the answer is in the question. My lips are sealed. 
Yeah. I knew it. It is in the question. The horse is named Sunday. Very well earned point, I must say. Well done. That's a tough one. Not too tough. Uh, I'll have to dig deeper into the encyclopedia next time. Sorry, look, no, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just deciding my You would make an awful event host. I mean, you need to be quicker with these things, like a whippet. Okay. Forward, I am heavy. Backward, I am not. What am I? Okay. So forward, heavy, backward, not. Uh, I hate to admit, but um, I'm stunned. What is it? You sure? Mm. You're giving up? Yep. A ton. Forward, I am heavy. T-O-N. Mm. Backward, I am not. N-O. Oh, but that's, that's not fair. I mean, I'm dyslexic, so it's just... The spelling ones, they don't work for me. And... It's such a short word, though. But it's not about the length of the word. It's, it's just that I can't see how the word is written in the riddle itself, you know? Has that ever held you back much? <laughs> in school, it was a nightmare. You know, I, I once wrote this poem called Silver Birch, right? But I got the R and the T mixed up, so it... Anyway... The teachers thought I did it on purpose and got detention, and yeah, it was not great. So the whole poem was about a silver bitch? Yeah. To be fair, a silver bitch sounds like a much better poem. So. <laughs> no, I think so too now. Okay, I have just the riddle to finish. Right. Man weighs 100 pounds, plus half his weight. How much does he weigh? That's not very hard. Is it not? No, so a man weighs 100 pounds plus half his weight, yeah? Mm -hmm. His weight is like X. So 100 plus half his weight, X over two equals his weight, X. So you multiply the two out, you get 200 plus X equals two X. Bring the X over, 200 equals X. He weighs 200 pounds. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I am so impressed. Everyone says 150, that's... No, wow. listen, we were taught algebra at some stage, I gotta use some of it, right? <laughs> Give me a final riddle to your worst. Let me get the phone again. <sighs> okay. Maybe think about what you want to ask me beyond the riddle. Could be good. Mm, you've done this before, haven't you? I have married many times, but I'm single. Nice try. You didn't say I have been married many times, it's just that I have. So you've married other people, haven't you? A priest. You're too sharp. What made you want to ask me that riddle? Have you ever fancied being a priest? <laughs> yeah, I have, but that's for another time. <laughs> no, look, um, marriage is the obvious question based off that riddle, but I am curious, how long have you been single? Not long, but like the majority of my track record, it was a short-term misfire. <laughs> you someone that likes being in a relationship or do you like being single? I feel like a lot of people would choose the former. I bet people's bad relationships so more just because they want a company, no matter whose it was. I'm really looking for a connection because I think a relationship is the last missing jigsaw piece in my life. Yeah, but don't put too much pressure on yourself, you know? I don't know, I feel like that sometimes repels what you actually want, you know? Anyway, who won the game in the end? Oh, so you're conveniently forgetting the host's role of scorekeeping. Oh, OK, I lost, didn't I? Didn't I? OK, fine. Uh, well, what's the forfeit then? You know, I know. I could pay. I'll get the champagne. Hey, hey, steady on, steady on. Uh, no, I'd love it with a sparkler as well, please. If you could just bring it out to me, that'd be, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> oh, 
No, seriously, look, the bragging rights are more than enough. We can split it. Well, that's very sporting of you, Ryan. But you better believe I am going to brag, though. Oh, no, I mean, totally. That's, that's permission granted. You still don't fancy the champagne? I can't convince you. Uh, you still ever want to see me again? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had a really great night, I must say. Yeah, um, so did I. Um, and I got your hosting services for free tonight. You did? VIP treatment. <laughs> How'd you get away with that? How are you getting back? Uh, I'm gonna get the tube. Mm, same. Do you wanna watch together? Yeah. Who's gonna get the third date? No commentary, please. I'm scrolling. Um, scrolling back. Oh. Wish me luck. Good luck. Say it like you mean it. Good luck. Bang. <gasps> Hello, Derek. It is Ryan. Um, how are you? Yeah, uh, great to talk to you as well. Um, I was wondering if you would be free sometime this week. Maybe we could get some nibbles or, you know, uh, a drink or something. Yes. And you're, you're down for the nibbles? Sweet. Okay, uh, so I, I will send you some details and then I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. See ya. A bit of jazz piano on this one here. <laughs> yeah. It worked. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a nudge. <laughs> I am so sorry I'm late again. I'll please make up for it. Yeah, hey will. Sorry. All is definitely forgiven. I did not get them from a vending machine, I promise. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, no drinks. So, should we order? Yeah, let's. Again, I don't know what it is. <laughs> thank you. I just feel like they can actually have a proper day after. But... Well, someone, thank you. I'm going to just um, pick one up. Um, go. Oh, straight in. When in Rome, you know. <laughs> well, cheers. To you. Mm -hmm. I actually prefer eating on the sofa. Yeah, my family were proper TV dinners. They just loved it. And um, I always need a bit of like background noise for whatever I'm doing. So are you one of those people who just has to have music playing wherever they go? Wherever. No matter long, short. So if you had to go from here to the bathroom, would you take your earphones out? I'd debate it. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't we play each other some songs? What, just like some random songs that we like? No. No, ones that, ones that remind us of an important time in our lives and then we can share the stories. Yeah, uh, yeah, great. Um, yeah. Will I go first? Go for it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna hide some of these from you. Um, I have a lot of different genres going on here. <laughs> Do they all have meaning? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> No. <laughs> You'll find that out pretty soon. Hey, Chico! Okay, well, I really need to know what this is all about. 
I really, <laughs> I don't think you do. Come on. No, come on, Darren, please don't make me, okay? You have to. Okay, this song reminds me of a long weekend at Tenerife. <laughs> and I got food poisoning on the first day. Mm. No. I paid all this money. Lying in bed, I was literally running back and forth to the bathroom. I will stop the images there, but you can fill it in the blanks. And this song was playing in every single bar, but I had booked the best hotel on the strip so I could hear this song playing till 5 a.m. every night. I really feel for you. I really do. You made me tell the story, so... I'm sorry for bringing it back up. I'm not really feeling much sympathy, but... No bueno. I have never had prawns since. <laughs> Undercooked prawns, first day, first lunch, first hour off the plane. No kidding. Oh, I wish I was. Oh, good. Okay. Come on, your turn. Yeah. Okay. That's about it. No pressure. <laughs> All right, I got one. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, I like the energy. This, no, come on. This has to be a happy memory. Yeah, yeah. It's um, my first time going to Pride. And I was just mesmerized by this group of drag queens and they were on this stage dancing and everyone was joining in. This song was playing and it was just, it was amazing. It sounds like a lot of fun. Mm, it really was, really was. Would you ever do drag? Why? Do you think it would suit me? Sure, why not? I mean, it suited everyone that I've ever seen do it, so why not? Yeah, I have experimented before with my mate Misha. She, um, she does all of it. She does my makeup, clothes, everything. Yeah? Yeah, it, I don't know, it kind of like, it just gave me a different energy, you know? Yeah, but I, I kind of like to change up my style anyway, so. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of not really for me. Just more comfortable in my own boring clothes. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, maybe you just need someone to take you on the journey. Well, I am a never say never kind of guy. I am gonna hold you to that. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What next, what next? Well, it's already been quite the eclectic mix so far. Hmm. What do you got? Ooh, I like it. Like, what does it remind you of? It, it doesn't really remind me of any specific memory. It's more, it's actually a track that I would go to most days just to kind of like unwind. Yeah, I, I love it. I'm, I'm, can you send me that? Oh, I just want to stick it on my meditation playlist. And you meditate? Yeah, 20 minutes every morning. Yeah, I feel like it's vital for me to have just a couple of moments of stillness throughout the day. I think stress can easily creep into the subconscious if you're not careful, you know? Mm, and it kind of would just build then otherwise, wouldn't it? Mm, exactly. I, I do like that you appreciate the quieter moments mm. as well. Yeah, I do. Anyway, my turn again. Oh God, I feel like I'm exposing myself a bit here. Jesus, steady on, Derek. Oh, very funny, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Is that a sea shanty song? Yeah. Guess whose voice that is. Is it you? Hmm? Oh, piss off. <laughs> That's you. That's me. Wow. <laughs> you, have, uh, you have an amazing voice. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, I kind of got caught up with the whole sea shanty hype during lockdown. And obviously no work going on, I thought, mm. might as well make music as a kind of distraction, really. I mean, as far as distractions go, it's a very productive one. True. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't just the boredom for me. Um, and obviously, you know, I don't drink alcohol, um, but it's not the only substance that I've had troubles with in the past. OK, um, I'm sorry to hear that. No, 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 it's, it's, uh, look, and I am totally sober now, I really am. But, um, yeah, during the lockdown, I kind of fell off the wagon in a big way. And I was living on my own and everything was so uncertain. And I don't know, I just, I kind of felt like it was my only way out, you know? Mm. 
Is it a bit much to say that the music helped save you? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it quite literally saved my life. Yeah, you know. And for me, personal projects are always the best way to avoid consumption, so I just... I started writing music, and then I learned to record and produce it on my laptop, and then I just thought, why not release it, <laughs> you know? Not that I have any fans or anything. Until now. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Listen, I'm sorry if that was all a bit much. You know, I just thought I'd be open about it. And I understand if it's all a big red flag, but it, I, I'm sure it really is all behind me. I mean, look, I know that nothing is ever 100%, but I care about the present. I do not care about your past. Well, at present, I am 99.9% .9 sure that it's all behind me. I can tell. I mean, look at you. You're glowing. <laughs> look at you, Derek. Stop. Stop it, I love it. <laughs> yeah, give me more. Say it again. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. I, I feel better than ever. So, last one. And actually, this time, why don't we play what your last played song was? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes. Okay. Someone's down with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> in mind more than body. No, I've always been drawn to more like youthful music. Interesting. I, would you say that you feel younger or that it's just the music and you actually feel older? Do you perceive me as one way or the other? Sort of. I mean, music aside, I definitely feel older than my age. Ever since the pandemic, I actually moved into my own place, started living on my own, took on more responsibilities, and I kind of, I don't know, for the first time, I felt like an adult. Yeah. No, I get that. I get that. You seem like your own man to me. Yeah, it, that does make sense, right? Yeah, totally. Same, same here. Mm. Well, that was an insightful playlist. Yeah, you're a man full of surprises. And you are a man who brings them out to me. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we should talk about that. And... and this, you know? I mean, I can't help but feel that you weren't really looking to meet a man at the speed dating thing. Yeah, I mean, but don't hold me to that. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm trying not to, but... I can't help but wonder, are you just testing the waters here or can you really see something between us? Because I've just been hurt by guys in the past who weren't open about what they wanted. And, yeah, it hurts. Uh, I can't remember the last time I have connected with someone the way I have with you. And I could see it, um, maybe, developing into something further. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I totally feel the same. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm really glad we had this chat. Mm. Brandy. 
What do you do for a living? I work in finance. Long hours, big paycheck. Well, the more you put in, the more you get out. That's why I've got my side hustles. I'm a beautician, but I'm doing an online course in international relations, and I trade cryptocurrency. I just sold an NFT, actually. Non-fungible token, the, the digital art thing. Bingo. Play money, though, isn't it? Try to end that to my bank account. Sorry if I'm quite direct about things. We just don't have a lot of time. Sure, um, can what I... What are you looking for? Oh, okay, that is a big question. Important question. Look, at this point, my priority is focusing on myself and just having a bit of fun. Do I look like a casual kind of girl to you? No, no, but you do have a lot going on, um, so you might only have time for something casual. I'd make time for the right person. Plus, if I was looking for casual, I'd look elsewhere. Is that meant to be a diss? No one says diss anymore, Ryan. Right. So... Do you live locally? Yeah, I bought a one bed up the road. It's top floor with an amazing view of the water. You bought a penthouse. That NFT was pretty valuable. Where do you live? I live 10 minutes away. Um, I live on my own as well. Flat? Yeah. Buy it or rent it? Back to the quick buy round. I mean, we're covering a lot. Yeah, we are. So? I own it. Yeah, I'm very lucky to be able to say that. Um, it's very difficult to get on the property ladder in London. You earned it. You work hard in an industry that pays well. Thank you, Randy. This is your three minute warning, guys. Three minutes to go. Just three minutes of lovely conversation. Okay, let's move on to barn affairs. Do you like holidays? I do. Where do you go? What sort of holidays do you take? What kind are you into, though? Um, I allowed to say a lad's holiday. Go for it. You won't hear from me again, though. You can't beat a beach holiday for a bit of or and or. Very true. Vitamin D is essential for our well-being. You aren't a speedos guy, though. No, 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 no. I am. Um, I, I can't pull them up. Won't ask why. I, I could only afford to travel recently, so I've got a lot of places on my list. Well, what's what's the top of the list? There's more than one thing. Uh, cruise the Galapagos Islands, meet the sloths and turtles in Costa Rica, see the Iguazu Falls between Brazil and Argentina. That is one hell of a bucket list. It they all sound amazing, but um, what's your next question? Did you just interrupt me? Yes. I, no, I did. But, but I'm just... Li like you said, I'm mindful of the time, so I just... Mm -hmm. Instead of going on a list and on and on. Mm -hmm. um, I actually want to go to Iraq soon. It's where my mum raised me. Cool. She was my role model. Do you have anyone like that yourself? Well, uh, that is a very good question. Could be from your childhood or even now, if there's anyone who inspires you. I am the person I am because of the relationship I have with my family. Um, I've also surrounded myself with friends who motivate me to grow and will have my best interest at heart. I mean, yeah, the energy we surround ourselves with is so important. Unlike family, you can choose friends, which shows you have good judgment. Evidently. Uh, you didn't choose to meet me, though. Speed dating's random. It is amazing to hear you look up to your family, though. I wish I could have had that growing up. Obviously, learning certain harsh lessons on your own is, is good, but I don't know. Certain things could have been avoided if I'd had someone to guide and support me. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I, I think I'm very lucky. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. So we'll be wrapping up very soon. So, how did my questions make you feel? There's a customer satisfaction survey. Your feedback is greatly valued. Is it actually, though? Mm, only if it's good. <laughs> yeah, it was It was fun. I didn't really feel like we felt like strangers. You? The answer isn't part of the survey, sadly. <sighs> OK. I see how this is going. OK, OK. And your time is up. Thank you, ladies and gents, lads. Move on to your next table. Your date is awaiting. Oh. 
But are you disappointed? Only because I had more questions. Would you like my social media handle? Yeah, um, or I can give you mine. I never message first. At the Brandy Baby Girl. The Brandy Baby Girl. See you later, Ryan. Goodbye, Brandy. <laughs> So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well, there was Brandy. Let me tell you about Brandy. My God, she was a... She would put you to shame the amount of work she would do. She is a crypto trading beautician and she's studying as well. Wow, what a combination. I don't even know how she finds the time to do all of it. Was there a spa? Yeah, yeah, yeah there was. I, no, I liked her. She's, um, she, she, she'd make you raise your, raise your game, you know? And your game needs to be raised. Well, so you keep telling me. Yeah. So, what's the next move? Well, I have one option. So, I think I'm gonna send a message. Yeah, one's better than none. One is definitely better than none. Proud of you. Peace. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, so it's um, I seven nine seven five six seven double six zero. Got it. All right. Cool. Hit you up. Cool. Good. Hey, you all right? Yeah. 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 I'm not too bad. Were you ordering drinks from him? No, I was waiting for you. I wouldn't order for someone before they arrive. So he was asking for your number? Yeah. Well, he doesn't stand much of a chance, does he? Have you seen me? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, but because he isn't my type, not because you are. <sighs> that wasn't my real number anyway. So, how's your week been? Bit of work, now a bit of dating. Yours? You should know how my week's been. I share it all on social media. You spotted my likes. Couldn't help it, could I? You went a bit overboard. Will we get a drink? I will. I'll just have a tonic water. Hey. Hello? Hey, uh, could we get a tonic water, please, and a beer? Thank you. Well, my week has been standard as yours. Regular hours at the salon, after hours studying, and when I can, checking the crypto markets. So this is my self-care time. Oh God, I hope not to disappoint. Oh, you won't. Because I am having fun tonight. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. I like your style. What is a good two-player game? Uh, something simple, like higher or lower, so we can still chat. I mean, we could make it more interesting, I guess. What, like strip higher or lower? Points. One for each correct guess. First person to get three ahead wins. Why am I noticing that you have made all of the rules since our speed date? Get used to it. <laughs> I'm a fair person, though. So I will give you a secret about myself for every correct guess. Fair. You go first. Is the next card higher or lower? Seven is a tricky one, because there's a pretty even amount of cards higher and lower. Higher. Ooh, you just love to see it. Secret, please. All right, first secret. My love language is acts of service, and my favorite act is breakfast in bed. Noted. But now you have an ace 
the highest value card. Which means the next card is lower by default. I guess lower. My guess took more skill than that. So? So what, four is pretty low. Not the lowest though. Uh, I am gonna say lower. Odds are against you. All right. Um, I've always had a thing for teachers. Ever since school, I always had a crush on them. Even now, I think my international relations tutor is cute. Interesting. And now you have got the lowest value number. <laughs> Which means the next card is higher, <laughs> by default. I guess higher. Honestly, this is just unfair. You saw me shuffling. It's all about how the cards fall. This is a game more about luck than skill, isn't it? There's tactical risk, too. I mean, are you a lucky person? Well, I would say luck comes in many forms. It does, but <laughs> generally, do you land on your feet a lot? I am a young man living in London with a roof over my head. I would say all of that is pretty good fortune. But what about specifics? What you've gotten versus what you wanted? That's actually a pretty good way to calculate luck. Um, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of things that I wish I'd gotten, you know, a job or, I don't know, like trivial things, presents. <laughs> What about you? Do you have any first world problems that you wish you had a little bit more luck with? <laughs> Plenty, but they don't bother me. They're stupid. Your guess? What do we have? The last card was a nine. Odds favor lower, but you've still got ten and the other honor cards, which are higher. Hmm. Higher. I will have that lead. Thank you very much. I'm going to take it right now. Can I have it? Yeah, thank you very Go much. Away. I'm going to put that in my pocket. <clears throat> okay. I once threw my ex's games console out the window when I found out he was messaging other girls. But that was a very inspiring move by you. So <laughs> I shall follow. Higher. A queen or a queen? All right. I can't get the lead back. Okay, a queen. I mean, it doesn't get much harder than that. Lower. Ooh, I will take that lead back. I never kiss on the first date. Lower. Shit. Have you got them all right? I'm forced, so what can I say? <laughs> you are enjoying that too much. <laughs> These instincts of yours must be pretty handy in the crypto market. They are, but I don't take risks. I respect money too much. I haven't always had it. Do you prefer to spend it on lifestyle things? And investments. I do love spending, but... Nurturing it is cool too. Yeah, I'm trying to think what my attitude is. I think balance is fairly important in this department. But if you had to choose one side or the other, are you a spender or a saver? Well, you only live once. So while I've no responsibilities, I definitely want to enjoy what I earn. That's fair enough. I mean, you must earn a really good salary, so you have the security to enjoy it. Within reason. I mean, anyone can lose money, you know? Let's finish the game. So this one should be easy. Hmm. Higher. Please, 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 please be higher. <sighs> yes! On top! I'm wearing my favorite red lace bodysuit under this. That's your reward for keeping up with me. Lower. 
obviously. Oh, okay, Wendo, if you really back yourself, how about we make this interesting? We aren't stripping, Ryan. No, Brandy, get your mind out of the gutter. No, winner takes all. Fine, I'm confident. You call it. Hmm. Okay, come on. Give come me, on, give oh, me my crown. Screw you! <laughs> well, thank you for a great game. It was it was really something. You put in a great effort. I don't lose. It pisses me off. Okay, look, come on. It is character building. That was a joke. Fine, you won fair and square, and you probably want the prize too. No, 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 no. Beating you is more than enough. Stop, or oh, I'm leaving. Pick something. Well, if you had won, I mean, if you had won, you didn't, but if you had, um, I would have offered you a congratulatory kiss. Oh, would you? In your dreams. <laughs> That was a really fun night. Yeah, yeah, it was. I'll give you most of the credit. It did all start with your game. I know it did. <laughs> this is where you tell me you also had a great night? Yeah, I thought that that was implied. I'm not a mind reader. You live just up the road, right? I do. You can walk me to my door. Who's gonna get the third date? No commentary, please. I'm scrolling. Um, scrolling back. Oh. Hello, Brandy, um, how are you? I'm very good, uh, great to talk to you again. I had a blast the other night and I was wondering if you would be free sometime this week, maybe the weekend, um, to meet up again. Yeah? Okay, I will. Um, I will talk to you then. Okay, uh, bye Brandy. Okay, bye Brandy. She's cool. She's cool. I, I, I was like being cool. I was trying She's to be cool. You're so not cool. But you've got another date. I did get another date. That's okay. You're stronger than you, you know. Very private. Well, I had to get the mood right. <laughs> What kind of food do they do here? Uh, they do all sorts, really. It is very eclectic, as I'm sure you will see. They do a cheese fondue. Yeah, we have to get that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if you want. Yes, I would have never thought to order fondue. Well, I'm extra like that. I still remember the first time I had fondue. In a Swiss skiing chalet overlooking a mountain range. That sounds like something out of a movie. <laughs> well, life's all about those moments. Do you have dream things that you want? Uh, yeah. I think everyone does. Mm. Like, even less materialistic people. Oh, let's share things of our dream lives. 
Sounds fun. Okay, let's start with the dream car. You go. Mm, I don't know much, but sports cars are always sexy. You know, fresh interior, leather seats with a bright trim, you know? What about you? You even know it down to the trim, eh? Oh yeah, I have <laughs> goals, Ryan. You know this. Um, I would actually prefer to be eco-friendly and not drive a car at all. Nothing? Not even an electric car? No, because that would still contribute to traffic and it would still cause carbon emissions. That's cool. I mean, not, not my vibe, but cool. You don't want to ride the bus with me, no? No, I'm, I'm happy in a car, thank you very much. All right, next question. What would be your dream home, architecture-wise and where? That's important, because you don't want a shit view. A penthouse right up in the sky of a major city with glass everywhere. So during the day, you can look out and you can see the buzz. And then at nighttime, you can see the lights. And the fireworks on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a perfect place for a midnight kiss. I'm sure you'd have countless women wanting to get that invite. Including you? Well, you know I like top floor apartments. All right, let's dive a little bit deeper. What is your dream partner like? For the game, for the game, not for any other reason. I want a man who looks after himself and dresses well, but mainly someone who's ambitious and driven, who respects my hustle, but has their own. Power couple? Mm. But the success isn't as important as the mindset. You know, we've just always got to be pushing for more together. What about you? And don't steal my answer. Or do, <laughs> if you think you can live up to it. <laughs> Um, I would actually say that it is someone a little bit like you, Randy. Oh, piss off. I am serious. You're a catch. You are talented, you are driven, you're very giving. Any guy would be lucky to be with you. And as a just tiny little bonus, you, you're also beautiful. How did you turn something so cheesy into something so sweet? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay, uh, let's pivot. What is your dream personal project? Mm, if money didn't matter anymore, I'd get into politics. You? Ooh, that is a tough one. Like, the possibilities are endless. This will tell me a lot about you, actually. I would make the best life for myself and for my family, whatever that meant. If it was buying a super yacht or just, you know, spending some quality time together. So you'd try and buy happiness. Do you think it's possible? I'd make a go of it. I think it is. I think if you've truly experienced life without money, you'll... Appreciate every penny you spend. Mm, yeah, I think the phrase money can't buy you happiness applies to people who already take it for granted. I just repeated what you said, didn't I? Sorry, what? You, you just like fully zoned out on me there. I'm sorry if I've come across as materialistic, Ryan. See, I've come from worse than nothing. I arrived in the UK legally, in a lorry, as an asylum seeker. I was seven, all alone and couldn't speak any English. It made things like school and social care really difficult, but eventually I taught myself. I. I hope this doesn't sound like a sob story. No, no, not at all. Do you remember much of your old life? 
Well, my home country suffered lots of civil violence, so the economy was awful. <sighs> Me and my mum lived off three loaves of bread a week, two normal ones and one sweet one. She saved all her money for a lorry trip across the channel, but it was only enough for one person, so she sent me. You didn't have phones or anything? You, you couldn't contact her? No. I haven't heard from her since. I don't even know if she's alive. But I'm visiting the region next month to try and find her. I want to make the most of my opportunity in this country because I'm one of the lucky ones. Is Brandy short for something? Bishma. It means beautiful. Well, here is to you, Bishma. Thank you, Ryan. You know, I like hot weather. I like tanning. Can we for lunch? I could be reading my magazine on the beach. What are you reading? Keeping okay. up with what's going on in the world. You know, I want to be Even a... on a holiday. So what do you have planned for the coming days? Work. Work. And work. The grind just does not with you, does it? I don't think it's a bad thing to prioritize your work life if it makes you happy. What are you prioritizing at the moment? Work or socializing or something else? Well, you have kind of shamed me into prioritizing my work. No, I would never intentionally shame anyone. Okay. You have inspired me to become more career-focused. That's more like it. I remember the right person will always fit around your work, not obstruct it. That is a very good point. I've never actually thought of that before. I'm going to be honest with you, Ryan. I've never really felt genuine connections with people in my life. This feels different. Hmm. But the fact that I've never been here before means I can't promise that I'll be good at it. But do you want to try, though? Yeah. But you have to be sure you want to continue this with me. I don't deserve half effort. No, you don't. And you will get one. 100% for me, Brandy. You too. How about a strawberry for the road? Yeah, do you want one? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, um... You know... The view from my flat is really beautiful. You wanna come take a look? Yeah. Yeah, it, I, I, I definitely do. Bring the strawberries too.
And there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? Uh, I just got back from work an hour ago. Same. I've made myself some food. Same. And I've just got off the phone with my landlord. Oh, not same. Yeah, I missed a payment, but it's it's fine. I've paid it now and it, it's settled anyway. Mm. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. I was expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying they have? Um, people in glass houses can't throw stones. No way, you too. Mm -hmm. Matches? Yes, a lot. Now a zero. But don't like apps like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and you're not helping. You know, they really try and help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Hey, the grass isn't always greener. I've got like. 80 likes. But like once you filter out like the bad profiles and the nude pics and the meh ones, it's all just a bit quiet. Are your standards a little bit high? No! Anyway, I have a new initiative in the works. What's that? You're gonna kidnap someone? I've signed up for speed dating tonight. <laughs> okay, why are you telling me this? Because I'm bricking it and like, do you wanna have a drink for Could you just say less? It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. See you there. Bye. Bye. Because there's no substitute for meeting someone face to face. Like you can see their physicality, feel their vibe. Yes, but what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My internet connection was crap. Mm. What do you do here? Welcome everyone to Speed Dating. My name's Derek, I'm your host. We're gonna be beginning very shortly. So gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're gonna find that genuine connection you keep banging on about. Why are you <laughs> smiling at me like that? <gasps> me Why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling, you're like another thing. Misha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. How does it work? Sorry, what? <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, hence why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with a gentleman by your first allotted table numbers. And good luck. Have fun. <laughs> um, you're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. <sighs> Cheers. Can I? Yeah, of course. Thank you. <sighs> Have you been waiting long? No, I've been waiting my whole life for this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, my, um... I've only just finished work, you see. So it takes me a minute to recalibrate. I get that. Okay. For my out-of-hours time, I volunteer at a charity shop. I started doing it at school and just never really stopped. Oh, that's, that's really good. That's amazing. Do you do anything like that? Yeah. I mean, when I get the free time to, yeah, I will give out as much as I can. I mean, not in person like you. Basically, I'll offer my uh, coding expertise and help charities, you know, update their websites. That's really cool. Um, I am a freelance computer engineer, that's what I do. And because of that, my work hours are just all over the place. What's your living situation? Do you have any flatmates? I actually live on my own, which, to be honest, I love. Antisocial, though. I don't know if you found this, but as you get older, there's just harder and smaller avenues of making friends, because everyone's already found their clique, you know? So I suppose 
things like this are amazing for that. If you don't mind me asking, how do you afford to live on your own? Something I was working on just like, did well, so. And I decided, yeah, I'm gonna get myself a place. I deserve it, and the rest is history. <laughs> what about you? Do you prefer to live on your own or with people? Mm, I've tried both. I worked away for a bit and they put me up. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's a really good way of experiencing being on your own, I suppose. I thought I'd be really scared of living alone, but actually it's the best. I can walk around naked whenever I want. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I, I, I think for me, um, sometimes it can get quite lonely, um, especially if I don't like make plans much. You should make some more plans then. I'm here now, aren't I? You know, I've been looking forward to this all week, and I'm glad I'm here. I get that. The last couple of years have been tough, but I'm grateful that we went through it when we had video calling. Exactly, I mean, and that wouldn't have been possible without technology. It's taking over the world. So are you aware of the synchronicity then? That's when uh, AI will eventually surpass mankind. You know, robots ruling the world and all that. If you could say yes or no to that happening, what would you say? Surely robots already run the world. I mean, like 30% of tasks are done by computers. Yeah, exactly, what a statistic. It's exciting, isn't it? You're not scared? No, it's the future, isn't it? So, <laughs> might as well just step into it. I'm terrified. Honestly, you don't need to be terrified. You Can you can't... imagine walking into a bar and not being able to tell who's a robot and who's real? I mean, I feel like that anyway, like, <laughs> so, um, oh. yeah. This is your halfway warning, guys. That is three minutes to go, 180 seconds. Couldn't tell you how many minutes second. Oh, really? What's the time? You're wearing a watch, yet you still checked your phone. You're right. Um, hands up, I must be a phone addict, and a laptop addict, and a tablet junkie, so... Oh, yeah. the full set. Mm -hmm. You wondering about me? Yeah. I feel like everyone should be asked this on a first date. Why? So you know how distracted someone's going to be when you're trying to talk to them? Mm -hmm. OK, so I am addicted to my phone, but... Here comes the excuse. No, it's a generational thing. I mean, we grew up with our phones. I mean, they're like part of us. They're essential tools for our daily routines. I could not agree more. You know, we are just so immersed in technology. People don't even realise it. We are constantly interacting with it. And it goes far beyond just phones. Oh, yeah, I mean, GPS, search engines. My God, I'd be useless without all of that. And take contactless payments, for example. That has completely revolutionised the whole social economics of how we buy things. For example, back a day, you would have to pull out your wallet, get some coins out and pass it to the cashier, whereas I can now just go boop and it's paid for like that. So I'd say these things here are definitely the quickest way to buy things at the moment. I actually, um, <clears throat> I actually invented a smart band myself. What's that? So you know hair bands? You know how they've got that little metal connect bit. I've took a microchip with the same kind of contactless uh, software and I've put it into it. So you can tie your hair up with it and just have it around your wrist. And with that, you could pay for something. And it's not as you know flashy as something like this. So it's inconspicuous. That's a pretty genius idea. Thank you. Have you released any of them? I, I made a few prototypes of the device. And then what I did was I reached out to a big tech company and sold the patent. So that's a pretty big deal. Oh my God, are you loaded? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm signed up to NDAs, you know, so legally I can't. I just really legally shouldn't have told you, I've just told you, you know, so I can't. Secret's safe with me. <sighs> Thank you. One minute to go, guys, one minute. It's your final minute, and then we have to wrap it up. Moving on. This has been an interesting date. Oh, no. I, I, I haven't offended you in anything I've been talking about. No, 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 not at all. I, and I hope I haven't offended you. I'm still here, aren't I? I mean, not for much longer. We should make the last 60 seconds count. OK. I read somewhere that extroverts deal with these kind of situations a lot better than introverts. So, would you say you're more extrovert or introvert? Mm, good question. And you're not allowed to say both. Come on. She, in life, people either favour one side of the spectrum over the other. I'm definitely an extrovert. 
I think I thrive off of meeting new people. So you're a social vampire. But I don't feed on blood, I feed off of human interaction. Well, I think that'd be an amazing partnership, you know, for me to be with someone outgoing and outspoken. What, so then I can do all the talking? No, it's just that you could help me come out of my shell, you know, even though I like my privacy, and I could be there for you when you want to feel tranquil and calm. And your time is up for that day. Gents, your date is awaiting. Don't tell me you enjoyed that. No, I did. <laughs> me too. Stay in touch? Yeah, if you want. Um, my handle is at the band coder. Mm, unique handle. I'll hit you up. Thank you. And um, bye, Misha. Bye. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> okay. So that was Lucas. He was a coder. He was super intelligent. I didn't understand half of what he said, but he was really lovely. <laughs> Okay, yeah. okay, so maybe you might see him again? Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Okay, nice. So, Misha, what's gonna happen next? Mm, I have one option. Mm -hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. To be honest, I, I do value a, a good handshake, you know, um, especially since we wasn't allowed to during COVID. How was your lockdown? Not much different to my usual routine, yeah? Just got a lot of work done. It was a really surreal time, wasn't it? Yeah, it does feel weird looking back at it. Anyway, we lived it. We don't need to talk about it. Exactly. Should we get some drinks? Yeah, let's get some drinks. Mm -hmm. What for that? Like these are quite deadly metal straws as well. Yeah, I think you'd put your eye out with one. You're not a bread person. I love bread, but I'm saving myself. I think you need vinegar though. Really? A bit tangy. Mm. So, how have you been? You had a good week? Oh, it's been alright. It's all right. Mm. So, how about a bit of game time? Oh, what? Well, are you not enjoying the conversation? No. <laughs> if you hate it, we can stop. Okay, yeah. Uh... I'm done for that. Okay. Never have I ever. Oh, well, never have I ever played Never Have I Ever. Okay. Never have I ever catfished anyone. Oh. Wait, I'm not a complete creep, okay? It was um, in year seven, and I'd, <laughs> I messaged this girl online pretending to be a bodybuilder from Southend. To be fair, I think I did the same during my MySpace days. I feel like we've all wanted to be someone else at some point in our life. Who was you? A Swedish child model called Heidi. Oh. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Your turn. OK. Uh, ah. Never have I ever um, gone viral. Mm, Technology-based questions. You started it. Mm, not a complaint, just an observation. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm? I'm intrigued. I hopped on the trend of cooking like crazy recipes and presenting them as normal. My pesto s'mores got people outraged. That was you? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You presented them so immaculately that like I actually wanted to make them. Shut up. No, seriously, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I um I wanted to be internet famous when I was little. Or, or an astronaut. You would have got to wear the suit. No, I would have been sick in the suit because I can't handle being spun on a roundabout, let alone going to space. <laughs> yeah, one can dream, I suppose. My turn. Never have I ever. I just want to say that um, this game is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Just nothing too X-rated, that's all I want to say. 
Oi, I'm being serious. I can't promise that. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Never have I ever made the first move. No? I'm sure that doesn't surprise you. So I guess if anything were to happen between us, it would be me instigating it. Which is totally cool. Shall we move on? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't no, mean to. It's... Um, never have I ever... Um... Oh. You all right over there? <laughs> yeah, I just, um, pondering my options. That's, that's all. I drank when I'm not supposed to. Oh, well, that's quite all right. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> uh, I've got one. Never have I ever lied on a dating app. Mm, OK, quite similar to the catfishing one, but it's a good one. Is this your way of telling me that you have? No. Oh, you so have. I've never lied on a date. Hmm, but I said dating app. Ah, uh, OK. Mm. I once said I was going on a holiday when I wasn't to bed on a date. Oh, that's fair enough. I mean, you know when you just feel like not showing up to something, it's quite hard to get out of it, isn't it? Yeah, but we could just be honest. What about you? Have you lied on a nap? Yeah. I uh, told someone I wasn't living at home when I was. I just find that females don't like men that live with their parents. Mm, you're overthinking it. Like, sure, we like independence, but if I liked someone enough, I'd make it work. I don't live at home anymore, I, um... I know. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I already told you that, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Shall we do one more each? Yeah, sounds good. OK, never have I ever... Do you really have to say never have I ever at the start of every question? Yeah, it's part of the game. OK, I didn't make the rules. I won't argue. Never have I ever broken someone's heart. <sighs> Casanova, tell me everything. So, I was, um... Seven years old, I was at a summer camp and I'd been holding hands with this girl the whole week. And she just started writing me letter after letter after letter and I didn't reply to any of them. And then my mum got a very strongly worded letter from her mum. Bloody hell. You ghosted someone by post, that's brutal. Yeah, I felt terrible. I'm sure she's recovered by now. Yeah, she has. Um, found her on social media. Happily married? Supermodel. Oh, unlucky Lucas. OK, um, never have I ever stood someone up on a date. That, that, that's not how this works. Oh, gosh. <laughs> messed that up, haven't it's I? It's fine. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Uh, OK, um, what about you? Never done it. What? You've never stood someone up on a date? I, I do realise it's a very shitty thing to do. I'm not trying to justify my actions. I'm just, I'm just glad you made it here. It was someone that I'd met on an online forum. We made plans and... I just pied her off. I feel bad for her and I don't even know her. She probably goes back there every night just on the off chance you'll turn up. I still feel terrible and it was five years ago. Sitting at the same table, ordering the same drink. You're not making me feel much better. She really didn't deserve that. I love the smell of mint. Really, I hate it. Really? I'm not a herb person. I love a bit of fake lavender. Oh, you can put them in a museum so like, hey, kids. This, this was is... lavender, oh. like they do with dodos. No, it's not just I like technology. I'm, I'm against artificial plants. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. But, I mean, they do last forever. Oh, OK, that's one plus, mm. I suppose. Yeah. It's that time. It is. You want to split? Oh, that's a receipt, it's not a bill. What do you mean? Neither of us have paid. I know. It's, uh, it's on the house. I help them out with their tech support every now and then, so that's their way of saying thank you. Oh, you must really be an expert. Yeah. But thank you again for uh, offering to split. <laughs> um, do you want me to wait for your cab? Uh, yes, that'd be nice. Yeah. 
anyway. Yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh, um, gosh. You ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. Go. Okay. Who is getting the call for the third date? Do it now. Hmm. There's nothing. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm good. Thanks. How are you? Cool. Um, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out again. I, I know there's a really cool place we could go to. Okay. Great. Brilliant. I'll I'll text you the details. Okay. Bye. Well. Yeah. Mm. Third day. Third day. Oh hey. One more. <laughs> <laughs> that actually was it. You're stronger than you look. I know. Tiny but mighty. <sighs> Yeah, um, this isn't, like, totally inappropriate, is it? No, it's so appropriate. Oh, my God, they're beautiful. Oh, they're for you. Thank you. It's OK. How's your day been? Ugh, I have not left my desk for a week. So, yeah, that feels good. Mm, I have something that helps me when I have laptop eyes. Ugh, not another game. Really? It's a dance app. You have to keep in time with each other to get points. Sure, why not? Hey! The first move is... Oh, the slut drop. OK. So, like... Yes, he's done this before. No. You so have. No, we've got to get in time together. Yes! Uh. Maybe this should be the next dance craze. I think it's already been a dance craze. Oh, yeah. Oh, the robot. <laughs> oh, what, you got facial expressions going and everything. Is this because you spend so much time with robots? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, this is... Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't do it anymore. Are you too sweaty? No, I've just had enough, to be honest. I'm pretty knackered too, should we call it a day? Yes, please. <laughs> Ooh, gosh. <laughs> Ugh. Did you hate that? I did. <laughs> but I do feel more awake, so mm. thank you for that. You know, I've been thinking about, like, um, compatibility and how we test our compatibility in, like, this natural world. And how, with romance becoming more and more digitised as we speak, it's becoming a lot easier to find your match. So, if there was, which there will be, a computer that you could put all your information in and it would find your um, perfect suitor, would you go for that? You mean if I could have the perfect person delivered to my door? Essentially, yeah. And it would be that and more than you could ever imagine. I'd love a computer to take all that off my plate, yeah. Exactly. And then if you could also find the sell-by date of that relationship, would you also go for that? Am I market research or something that you're working on? Oh, gosh, no, I'm not that good of a code or something like that, but um, I'm just curious, that's why. I think finding the right person would be enough for me. Knowing how long the relationship's gonna last feels a bit fatalistic. That is true. But it would be hard knowing that you had all that information there, you know, a bit like Pandora's box, I suppose. Curiosity kills the cat. Not my cat, though. I love my cat. <laughs> You're really keen on this whole let a computer decide for me thing, aren't you? I just find it hard to make genuine connections in a natural environment, that's all. So you want to find a device that tells you how you feel? I mean, surely only you can know that. I just... I don't know. It's... I don't feel like I've got a good judge of character and 
if I could, you know, program a device that replicated my brain gut, I would. Well, my gut instinct's telling me it's time to eat. Let's order some food. Um, order whatever you like. Why did you fix this place's payment system too? Um, not quite. Um, I'm one of the owners here. I um, have invested in several establishments in this area. Are you like a tech millionaire? Um, I've created a fair bit of code in my time and sold a few patents, yeah? But I don't tell people about that, really. Um, but yeah, like I said, order whatever you want. It's honestly fine. Are you sure? Honestly, it's fine. That's really sweet, but I'm a simple burger and fries kind of girl. Good choice. Um... So, dark wine is your kind of wine. You don't like light wines. Dark or light? Yeah. I, I like all wine. Wine is great. Mouse. From your mouse. Yes! Yes, now That's I know it. what a lemur is. And there's, like, in real life, they kind of look like mini bears. Oh. Gosh, um, I better go. My cat's waiting to be fed and she's quite routine with her meals, so yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Thanks for coming all this way. No, it's totally fine. It's not that far. Oh, good. Oh. oh, oh, I'm a hugger. I probably should have mentioned. No, it was nice. Misha, I have had such a lovely evening with you. And I would like to um, ask you to accompany me to an event. It's a AI fair. What's that? Well, it's all to do with technology and I've been asked to come as a guest speaker, so I'd like you to be there. Will there be robots? Maybe. You might not know who is a robot and who is not. And would you protect me? No. Okay. I'd love to. It's amazing. Can I walk you home? Um, sure, yeah. I just want to meet your cat. Oh, well, Macintosh is going to love you. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. Let's go. Hey, you good? Yeah, I'm Misha. I'm Ty. You're not drinking? No. No, bikes and alcohol don't go together. True. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's a pandemic hangover. You're an elbow bumper. I'm a frontline worker, so I've had to deal with a lot of COVID patients directly. Well, that makes sense. Why you be careful? Seriously, though, you guys have been amazing. I don't know what we'd all do without the NHS. So, Ty, what do you do with your days? This and that. Just... <clears throat> nice helmet. It's very appropriate. Go on, tell me. It's not going to kill you. Unless you're part of some, like, mafia ring, in which case blink twice. I'm just not into the whole interrogation thing. You being serious? I am. Oh, shit, OK. Clear is kind. I actually studied interrogation. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The first thing you have to do is antagonise the client. I found it works particularly well on bouncers. Does it now? Mm, 100% success rate. I should come party with you. Do you party a lot? Clubbing, afters, all that? Most definitely. This is your halfway warning, guys. Three minutes to go. I know, it flies, doesn't it? So, what brought you speed dating? I tend to run in the same circles. It gets a bit old. Hmm. So you've exhausted your circle of options. What do you think I am? But yeah, kind of. What do you think I am? Not sure. I'm still deciding. 
Would you say you're open-minded? Why? You can't just answer the question. Oh, I can answer. OK. Prove it. I would say I am. Cool. Now, are you going to tell me why you asked me that? I like to know where I stand with people. This world's always changing and it's important for us to stay open. It's hard to do that when you're grown. <laughs> are we grown? Getting there. Trying. Just don't like labels. If I want to do something that's out of excitement or curiosity, then so be it. Whether that's in my social life, my work life, my sex life. I see. I'm one of those people who wants to try everything once. Variety is the spice of life. I lost my parents when I was young. And, uh, you know, there's a lot there that I'm trying to make up for as an adult. I'm really sorry. No, no, it's fine. I was, like, this big when it happened, so... This goes to show you, life, all of this, is just so... so short and, um, and fragile. And we owe it to ourselves. You know, you, me, even that guy dressed as a daffodil over there. We do everything we can to explore everything we can to find happiness and pleasure. How's that going for you and him? Well, pretty damn well for me. I'm not sure about him. But no, I'm getting good, you know, finding out what my appetites are and what my body needs. Now we're talking about food, yeah? Everything. Everything. One minute to go, guys. Just 60 seconds. Better make it count. You seem very high fashion. I like nice materials on my skin. See, my boxes are made of extremely soft material. Mmm, sounds nice. Do you want to know where they're from? <laughs> You'll go? That wasn't part of the deal. We never made a deal. But come on, hurry up. I'm running out of time. Which supermarket? Not gonna tell you. A lady needs her mystery. And your time is up. Thank you, ladies and gents. Oh, saved by the bell. This time, I want to see you again. What's your handle? How about you give me yours? Games, games. Mm, I just gotta lay out all my suitors. It's at it's tie twenty five. Oh, jackpot! It's been fun. Very. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> OK. So Ty came in in his motorcycle leathers, holding his helmet. He is what you would call a... a bad boy. And how do you feel about a bad boy? I don't know. I've never dated a bad boy before, but it sounds quite exciting. You want to go to the dark side, don't you? They have cookies. Well, then go. So, Misha... What's gonna happen next? Mm, I have one option. Mm -hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. You're just chilling? Just having a moment. Mm. And not even on your phone. It's admirable. You're making fun of me. Not at all, Grandma. Hey, do you mind if we, um, swap seats? I always like to see the exits. 
Yeah, sure. How has it been, 42? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. it's gone. Most interesting facts you know. You know, I can't think of a single fact that I know. Female ferret will die if it doesn't find a mate in 24 hours. I know some girls like that, to be fair. So do I. <laughs> How about you? But these leaves look very suspicious. Yeah, I think they've probably been here all week. Pick from a gardener, like a weed. Just pluck them. Just pluck for a road, <laughs> smoke it probably. <laughs> so I think it's game time. Oh, oh! Should I get my coat? Easy, Tiger. I mean, game time to get to know each other a little bit better. Well, I can think of a way that we can get to know each other very well. I dare you to play with me. Truth or dare, it is then. Okay. Have you played it recently? Very. Then you take the lead. Ladies first. I don't think we need to be traditional about this, do you? Nothing wrong with it. You start? I think you should start. You were way more keen to play this game than me. You sure? Very. I like bat suiting. Oh, come on, Ty. Come on what? I'll tell you what. Now, that always sounds more exciting than it ever is. Mm, not this time. I have a proposal for you. Oh, for me? Very funny. Go on, then. What if we both start by doing the same truth or dare? That way, neither one of us is starting. OK. You're on. So, to begin the game... So official. Give it a rest. Never. OK, truth. How old were you when you first kissed someone? I was kissed. I remember that. Well, how old were you? Don't know. I was 15. Oh, that is... Pretty much old age for first kiss. What, so you were younger than 15? All right, player. You know me. See, that wasn't so bad. Do you think you're ready to breathe it alone? Yeah, well, go on then. Dare. What's the most daring thing you've ever done? That's a truth. No, just curious. Signing up for that speed dating thing. It's exposing. Admitting that you want to meet someone. So you do want to meet someone? Why else would I be there? I thought it was just a sort of short-term thing for you. I'm pretty open to anything that comes my way. So, where's this dare, then? OK. Show me your party trick. Oh. Now, I said, I promised myself that I would stop doing this, but, um... I need a bottle. Mm -hmm. Where's this going? <gasps> I've always wanted to know how to do that. I could teach you. Oh, maybe another time. Chicken. No, I just like my teeth. I don't even like this. <laughs> Busy. <laughs> my turn. OK. Truth or dare? Which one's more likely to get me laid tonight? Now, I expect a bit more whining and dining first before the old. Well, we are out, aren't we? Go on, then. Dare. Be a giraffe. A giraffe? Why a giraffe? I like giraffes. They're peaceful, kind creatures. Mm, nothing like you, then. Hey, stop trying to compare me to a giraffe and just be a giraffe. Please. My neck's not long enough to be a giraffe, though. All right, just give up the game, then. Well, why can't I be, like, another jungle animal? All right, be an elephant. I mean, that's just rude. OK, be a lost wildebeest. No, I'm going to stick with giraffe. OK. okay. One giraffe coming up. That's a very hungry giraffe. Oh, a hungry giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> that fast? Oh! Bravo. Thank you. I did Amdram. I can, I can tell. You look like you might be done with this game. We can just talk if you want. So, when was your last time? As in? Yeah. Oh, why do you want to know? Why not? It's just how the truth is, isn't it? Oh, I don't know, a few months ago. Well, you don't know. Oh, I could try and calculate the exact moment for you if you prefer. I'll accept a few months ago. What about you? Last week. Why? Oh, it just tells me something about you. What, that I'm a slut? I don't really like that word. Manhole? It tells me that you have sexual urges that you need satisfied, whether you're in a relationship or not. 
Is that fair? Yeah, I guess it is. Would you like to keep it to a regular schedule? Make it sound like a bowel movement. Well, it is for some people, right? I just try and, you know, do it regularly, which <laughs> sounds ridiculous after you said the whole bowel thing. <laughs> so, what are your moves? You think I need moves? Everyone needs moves. Tell me yours, then. Just so I know what I'm going up against before sharing my trade secrets. Mm, you keep your cards close to your chest, don't you? It takes me a while to warm up to someone. What, so I feel special when I earn your trust? You should feel special right now. Oh, I have a plethora of moves. Too many to show you in one night. Show me one. OK, you want to see the sacred moves of Misha? You ready? Is that it? I mean, it's worked lots of times. I guess some guys are very easily impressed. And that's just rude. All right, big man, put your money where your mouth is. OK. I'm pretty good at the old accent game. OK. Give me your best Irish accent. Well, it depends on where you want to be in Ireland. If you want to be down south, where they talk a little bit like this. Or you want to be near now, and get a little bit like near now, near now. No, do you know what? Actually, I never need to hear that again. Sorry. Too good. Mm -hmm. My mate Ryan's from Ireland. Oh, Doesn't it sound like that, though. What, has he lived in England too long? OK, Scottish? But he was Glasgow, was fantastic. You know, come with me, I'll give you a little cake for you, some haggis, why not? I hate all of these people you're creating. So sorry, that's based on my grandma, and she's not here anymore. American? Well, where do you want to be in America? You want to be down south? I just want to punch you in the face. Yeah, I take that. See? You can be fun. <laughs> One more truth or dare? Feels like we didn't finish. Maybe you didn't finish. I always finish. You want another drink? Hmm? You all right there? Yeah. You? You just seem a little distracted. Yeah. Are we going to have to race to ask her out? No, sorry. <laughs> she was wearing this oversized cool green jumper that I've been looking for for a while. I wanted to ask her where she got it from. I thought that was going to be rude. Mm, that's very decent of you. Thanks for not jumping to any conclusions. Mm. Yeah. We should probably go halves. Yeah, halves. Equality? Equality. Spin real. Real what? Real nice. It has. I'll wait with you for your taxi. Yeah. Be nice. Anyway, yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh. You ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. No. Who is getting the call for the third date? Do it now. Much. Uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to maybe hang out another time. I had a really lovely time last time, and I know a really cool place we could go to, maybe. Really? Oh, OK. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that's great. OK, sure, yeah. Bye. Hi, stranger. Hey! You're not as late as I thought you might be. Oh, you noticed. Sorry, uh, Ian Barry here had to break the speed limit. Well, I'm just glad you made it live. Well, Barry always looks after me, I look after him, so... 
Good tea. Safety first. Can I get you a drink? Wine? Wine. Yeah. Barry, orange juice. That's it. Thank you. No worries. Just water. Pretty boring. You should have bought this through. Um, perfumes in the sink with all the shampoos and everything else. I love that. Barry. Barry. For life. <laughs> Ty and Barry forever. Mm. Yeah, exactly. That look you just gave me, you, uh, you shouldn't give it in public. It's just the way that I look. Would you look at your mother that way? No. Okay, I've got one for you. What would you rather? Butterflies or trust in a relationship? Can I choose both? Why not? You'll find out. Trust. Why? That's important for me to feel safe. I think trust too. Careful, we can't agree on too much. The excitement off is allowed. Exactly, okay. Your earrings are awful. Thank you, your nose ring is terrible. There you go, we agree. No, no. we can't agree. Did you make your trousers up a parachute? Actually, I did. Huh? I'm glad to see that you, you just changed the shirt from our last day. <laughs> I mean, I have washed them. Really? I have promise I've washed them. In what? You know, you're not meant to wash jeans. You're meant to put them in the freezer. Is that what you did? Yeah, put them in the freezer. It gets all the bacteria. It smells like fish fingers. There you go. Anyway, do you want to play a game? More games. Mm. How about two truths and a lie? You just want to see how good I am at lying. Well, it would be reassuring if you were shit at this, yeah. OK. I've had sex with over 100 women. I had a sex dream about my brother-in-law. Or I had a threesome. What's the lie? There's a consistent theme going on here. And you're very observant. The threesome? Guilty. Or not. You seem relieved. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Three's a ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've cheated on all my exes, I've never stayed up all night, and I died for one minute. Cheated on all your exes. How'd you get that so quickly? I'm good. And now I know you are too. Smooth. But never stayed up all night. We'll have to fix that. You don't want to ask me about how I died for one minute? Mm. Okay, you'll go. Non-sexual only. Spoil sport. Um, okay, I joined a cult. I've never worn check. And I've never broken any bones. They're all very different. Mm. Never check. Okay. The cult, that's a lie. Got it. Oh, for you! Oh. I was born into one, though. But it was more like a commune where we wore robes and sacrificed goats. It was all fine. Are you going to indoctrinate me? Only if you want me to. Oh, good, thanks. Fine. I think we're done with the game. You want to talk? You never want to have serious chats. You're the one who's afraid, not me. Well, what am I afraid of? You tell me. What, like physical fears or emotional ones? Whatever. I'm afraid of spiders. Always have been and probably always will be. I mean, they are just not the one. I'll protect you from them. OK, as long as you don't kill them, we're fine. There are always casualties of war. You don't deserve to die. Some of them do. Yeah, OK, the really big hairy ones do. If you want to ask me something, just don't ask. Nothing gets past you, does it? Some things do. I just don't care about them. Nope, nothing for now. Cool. Look, I want to share something with you. Because I think you're, you're cool. And uh, I can see us being in a relationship. But I find traditional relationships a bit boring. Like, I want to try something different. Right. And I've been thinking, you know, why try and box ourselves into this world that might not even have us? <laughs> I've been thinking about polyamory for a while now. So you could be my girlfriend, 
but then we'd both be free to see which way the wind takes us. Are you in? Is this for real? It's not a joke. It's real. I guess it is getting quite popular these days. For a reason. So, we'd be dating? Yeah, and we'd hang out as much as you wanted, and then you'd also be free to see other people that you wanted, and so would I. Like, I'm only getting into this right now, and it's all new to me, and there's just so much more to discover. You know, maybe monogamy isn't right for me. I've always wondered what was missing from relationships for me, and maybe that's it. Yeah, I'm in. You are? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> okay, the next weekend um, is my mate's awful gig, uh, but I said I'd show my face. Yeah. And uh, I just really want to kiss you now. You do? Really good at that. Yes, I mean. Hello. Hey. I'm Misha. I'm Bash, here for the interview. Uh. You've been on holiday. You've got that healthy beach glow. Really? Mm, what's a holiday? Oh, that's sad. I just got back from a stag day. Mm, nice. What did you get up to today? <laughs> uh, just played some father side football with the boys. Yeah, pretty knackered. Oh, I love <laughs> sport. Basketball, tennis. Football? Not really. Oh. I'm just messing. I was actually on my junior female football league at school. No, you weren't. Mm -hmm. I like sports that I can play because it gives me more of an insight. Yeah, I mean, it's like so much better when you know how to do what they're doing. And then you watch the professionals and it's like you're watching art. That's beautiful. I've literally been here five seconds and I'm already chatting waffles. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. So, your name? What about it? Well, it's got to be a nickname, right? Well, yeah, everyone needs a nickname. So, what's the story? It's a long story. Condense it? No, it's a long story. Leave it. Oh, don't leave me guessing. You just give me some options. You're an option. So are you. Yeah, fair. <laughs> this is your halfway warning, guys. Three minutes to go. I know, it flies, doesn't it? So have you got any nicknames? No, but my name is already sort of a nickname, apparently. It means Michael in Russian. Michael. Mm. I knew someone called Michael once. He nicked my girlfriend in year six. I'm sure she could choose for herself. Can I call you Mike? Yeah. Have you got any real nicknames, then? God, no-one's ever asked me about nicknames before. Well, I am honoured to be the first. So come on, I ain't got all night. My mate Ryan calls me Muggy Misha. I apparently mug him up a lot. In the blue corner, the biggest rocket here tonight, Muggy Misha! You practised that in front of the mirror, didn't you? hundred percent. So... Did you do any exercise during lockdown? Oh, seamless. I'm oh, just trying to keep the chat moving forward. Ugh, lockdown. It's dragging up a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it was a weird time, wasn't it? Not really, you know. Oh, I'd have been bouncing off the walls if I hadn't done any exercise. I found it well hard not being able to, you know, play football and go to the gym, you know. Felt actually quite down, actually, you know? And, and, and exercise always makes you feel better, doesn't it? So, um, it's, it's good. So that stag do I mentioned, yeah. It was in Turin, in Estonia. Tallinn, Estonia? Yes. Yes, knowledge. <laughs> stag capital of Europe, right? So we had to see what all the hype was about. The second night was an absolute madness, OK? We were all in these morph suits, right? <laughs> and the groom had to wear this mankini. By 5pm, he was absolutely battered. But after a little tactical moment, we were ready to go to the club. 
It was the best night any of us had ever had. Drinks were flowing, there were back-to-back -back bangers on the playlist, all the lads, they were all together. That's great. Then, there's a little bump in the road. This bird takes a liking to the groom, wants to go back to his room. No freaking way he didn't. Don't worry. Big bad bash was there to intercept the potential disaster. No, it's not something encouraging for a happily married life, is it? Yeah. We all had a big old heart to heart with him the morning after about it. That's all we can do as his mates, you know? In my mind, cheating is absolutely unacceptable. And his wife to be, she deserves better. Oh, at least it's commendable on your part. I have to have some principles, don't I? We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. So we'll be wrapping up very soon. Seems like we might be drawing to a close. You sick on me already? Definitely. You seen anyone you like, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. What about you? You didn't answer me properly. What more do you want from me? I don't know, some more detail? Names, maybe? Nope, no names necessary. No one special. Until you met me. Yeah, all right. See, I reckon you lucked out, you know. And why is that? Because there are some proper mingers in here tonight. Stop it. Stop, I'm serious. I mean, look at the state of those two over there. Like, he literally looks like a walking turnip. I feel bad for agreeing with you. But you do agree. No comment. Love to hear it. Present company excluded, of course. Yeah, it bloody better do. <laughs> and your time is up for that day. Gents, you'll be moving along to your next table. That wasn't so bad, was it? It wasn't. What's your socials? Yes, yes, we stay in touch. It's um, at Big Bash123. Oh, you need a better handle. You love it. Oh. See you in my DMs, babe. Bye. There's no way we're matching. Not really. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> okay. Bash. Well, mm. Firstly, he's called Bash, uh, which tells you everything you need to know. Do you know what? He was really charming. He had really great banter. In a good way, yeah. In a really good way. He had a slightly funny haircut, but we'll let him have that. So, do you think there could be another date? Yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah? Hmm. Okay, good. So, Misha, what's gonna happen next? Mm, I have one option. Mm -hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Hey. How you doing? Good, yeah, how are you? Yeah, we're not too bad. Keep them well, keep them well. Oh. Good week? Yeah. Yeah, it's been good, yeah. What are you chuckling about? <laughs> Have I got something on my face? No, 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 no. It's my, um, my mate sent me this meme. I can't stop <laughs> Sorry. Look at you. Do you want to see it? Okay. I think we've reached that point, yeah. <laughs> you go, look. Do you find it funny? I can't tell. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Can you send it to me so I can share it? Yes, I can, of course. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, what do you want to drink? Wine. Wine? Yes. Nice. I'm yes. going to get a big old pinty, I think. <laughs> a big old pint of whatever they have on tap. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Do you know something I think might be quite fun? You've got, you know, you've got to link the arms. So Ready? Go on. Yeah. Yeah. I actually got. Yeah, we used to play some wild games back in the day. Wanna play a game now? Let's do it. Okay. Would you rather? Banging choice. Would you rather be a vegetarian for the rest of your life or only eat meat? Ooh. Well, I am a meat man. But then I read all that stuff about cow farts killing the planet, so I'm gonna go with veggie, save the world. Mm. Okay, would you rather? Misha. Bash. How you answer this question will not only determine the fate of your future, but the future of our relationship mm. and all relationships to come. Okay. Would you rather burp slime or fart bubbles? 
That's it. That's that. That's the question. Mm. Okay, I can't believe I have to pick one. Really? That's oh, the game. Oh my god. Okay. Um, fart bubbles. Congratulations, you're through to the next round. How come? But like, what about representation? Mm. So you're saying that all of your mates have the same opinions? To be fair, Gaz did say burp slime and we forgave him. <laughs> so now I've waded through the depths of your subconscious, would you rather reveal your real name or be a dog? Are you joking? On the second date? So, dog? <laughs> Do dogs stand on two legs, though? They do when they're begging and I'm begging for this to be over. So please, can you sit down? <laughs> you do know you haven't got to do the whole would you rather thing. Oh, I'm a doer, so... Um, nice. OK, would you rather give birth to a litter of fully grown cats or shit out a thousand mini robots? Well, I'm not doing either of those things, so... Spoil spot. Mm -mm. Come on. I'm going to go with shitting out robots, cos... I mean, the cat thing freaks me out. The claws? Yeah. The claws. Yeah, but I would go with the cats, I think. Yeah? Yeah. But you can't give birth to them. Yeah, but I wasn't expecting you to shit out a thousand mini robots either, but that's but just I, kind I, of... I was going to watch you give birth now. Oh, yeah, because, kind of you know, we're not getting rid of... You want to give birth? It's painful. I have no idea. I mean, I have no idea. They've been kicked in the nuts. Are you really going to do this now? <laughs> do you want to go down that one? No, OK, I'll be <laughs> Anyway, would you rather date someone you love or someone who loves you? Ooh. Someone who loves you. No. Someone you love. Gotta go with the first answer. No, wait, no, no, hold, no, stop. Um, someone, yes, someone you love, someone you love. Okay, fine, I've got one. Would you rather get caught cheating or catch them cheating? Oh, this is a tough one, and you're gonna judge me for it. I know. I gotta be honest. Catch them cheating. Agree, yeah. I think I'd rather take the hit than be that person, you know? Mm. Hurts a lot more, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it is, like, the worst thing ever. Um, but it's kind of out of our control, isn't it? So, might as well just crack on. Exactly. That's why you've got to choose the right person. You do, yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers. 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 <laughs> ah. OK, would you rather lose your salary for the next five years or lose Everything in your bank account now. Oh, lose everything in the bank now. There's not much in there, and I can make it back quite quick. Honest work's honest work. That's a great attitude to have. Yeah. Right, I've got one. Would you rather find a pube in your food or someone with bogeys sneeze all over your face? Oh, God, the mental images. I'm glad we're not eating for this one. Let your stomach guide you. Oh, God. Um... The pube. At least then I could just, like, stop eating. Yes, I agree. Yeah. No one is sneezing on this kisser. Have you ever eaten a pube? Pop called forfeit. Was it your own, at least? <laughs> I can't. I can't. What can I say? I'm a mug. <sighs> Would you rather have a baby every year for 20 years or never have kids? Oh, 20 kids, that's got to be fun. So you want a big family then? Yeah, my house was pretty mental growing up and I bloody loved it. Mm. There was always really good chat around the dinner table and that, so. Mm -hmm. I can tell, attention seeking. <laughs> what? You've you got joking? lots of siblings and you're attention seeking. I was, no. Well, if you think that, then that's fine. But what about you? That is a lot of pressure. No, it's a totally unassuming question. I don't believe you. No, well, I don't really care to be honest. <laughs> I think a small family. I'd rather have one kid and be there for them than like, plenty and not know their names. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Guess you want a big family. I grew up around loads of people. Well, I bloody loved it, so... Mm, I can tell. My turn. Would you rather be in a toxic relationship for your whole life or forever single? Brutal. I think toxic relationship. It beats getting no action at all, doesn't it? Have you ever been in a toxic relationship? I used to like this bird once and I knew that it was never going to go anywhere. Nearly ended me. She kept breadcrumbing me. What's that? When you keep messaging someone just to keep them around. Why would anyone do that? Beats me. Anyway, got one. Right, would you rather get a face tattoo of a heart or a hand tattoo of a penis? Original. I would pull off neither. You look mad with both. 
Mad's a good thing in this context. Always a good thing. A face tattoo would be fine. Brave. But I like that fume, Mike. I think I'd have to get a hand tattoo myself. Mm, you love your penis that much? I love my face that much. Mm. There's no way I'd go around with a penis on my hand. What about a vagina? What about a vulva? A what? Your poor exes. <laughs> Have you got any tattoos? Have you got, like, your favourite football team? Uh, I'm not that much of a cliché. It actually says, Iron Apa 2K18. Wow, classy. It was a banging holiday. Was it messy? It was very messy. You loved it. One more for luck, but we both have to answer it. I say the first bit, and then you complete it. OK. OK. Would you rather have your parents watch you have sex, or...? Watch them. Oh, we're totally unstoppable. Unstoppably gross. It's got to be watch them. Yeah, I, I couldn't inflict that kind of disappointment on them. <laughs> okay, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you dated a lot? Uh, not a lot, a, a fair bit, yeah. What about you? Oh, now you're asking. Isn't that many? How honest do you want me to be? Um, I'm, I can take it. Okay. Yeah. Nah, bang average. Not too few, not too many. I mean, I'm essentially Goldilocks. She dated an average number of men as well, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she really did. Yeah. And a lot of bears. A lot of bears and a hell of a lot of porridge. Food? Food? Food, nice. <laughs> Where's that guy? I had a rabbit called Elvis. Oh, yeah. Two cats. Two crap. Yeah, chunky. Thank you so much. Thank you. So brilliant here, job. Mates at the time. Really ran away with us, eh? Yeah, I'll get the bill. <laughs> Leah. What? On your neck? Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, she's uh, my ex. Oh, the old ex's name tattoo mistake. You're gonna get a lasered. It was not a mistake. Take that back. I'm sorry, I didn't realise it was insensitive. But as I realise about her, okay, she was my ex and she died two years ago. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Bash. No, it's okay, it's okay. Um I'm sorry for snapping. It's just um I'm not used to talking about it out loud. So listen, Misha, um, thanks for not freaking out when I um, freaked out. Hey, the only freak here is me. Yeah, but I like that about you. <laughs> Bloody. I thank you. Anyway, yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh. Um, you ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. No. Who is getting the call for the third date? Do it now. Mm. He does nothing. I was just wondering if you, like, wanted to hang out again. I had a really nice time of the night and I know this this really cool place we could go to. Really? Okay, cool, great, yeah, I'll, I'll see you the details. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yes! God. yes! Yes, 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 yes! Well done, you. Thank Hello, mate. Hello. You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, good, good. I got you a pint. Oh, you are a star. I looked, I learned, I listened. Oh. Like this. I've got a match in one of mine, someone left it there. Someone? Well, a mate's girlfriend. They moved out now, got their own place. Another one bites the dust. You live on your own, don't you? I do, I love my freedom. But I would move in with someone if the right person came along. And how long 
would it be to be wanting to move in with that special someone? Is this where I find out you're a couch surfer? Easy, mate. I love where I live. You have to remove me by force. <laughs> Six months? But in reality, a lot sooner if it was with the right person. Yeah, I mean, there's no rules for that kind of thing, is there? So you're a go-with-the-flow kind of guy? I do like to... Flip. Oh, nice. Yeah, like, oh, Very wee. nice. For what it's worth, I'm an absolute dream to live with. I always put the toilet seat down in there. Have you always been like that? Well, I'm the oldest of five siblings, so I have like to be the responsible one. Families aren't well important to me. Thanks for um, not running a mile after last time. I should say the same to you. Are you sure you're ready to date again? Yeah. Yeah, Leah used to always say that if anything ever happened to her, she'd want me to be happy with someone else, so. How did she pass? Uh, lung cancer. Yeah. Never smoked a ciggy in her life, but I guess it doesn't work like that. That's horrible. Do you want to tell me more about her? She was the funniest person I ever met. And, like, really sexy. You know when they say that you shouldn't stop dating the person you're with, even if you've been together for ages? She, like, lived by that. We never came out of that honeymoon phase, and I don't think that would ever have changed. I took a real leap of faith, like starting dating again. It's the first time I've felt out of control of my emotions. I didn't know how I was going to respond or, or react to things. And I've surprised myself in good ways and in bad ways. And now I'm just chewing your ear off about it and you don't want to hear all this, so I'm just going <laughs> to shut up. I'm happy to listen. I think that you're taking things slow and you're being respectful of Leah's memory than yourself. Thanks for being so understanding about this, Misha. You can thank me properly by telling me your real name. Oh! Uh, how about on the fifth date? We might not make it that far. OK, go on, have a guess. Out of all the names in the world? Yeah, yeah, have a punt, go on. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I'm trying to see it in your eyes. I'm going to go with... Tarquin. What? Is that a shampoo? What? <laughs> no, it's a name. Steve. You disappointed. <laughs> Steve. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Steve, it's just... There are lots of Steves. I'm just bash, aren't I, Mike? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> what? Your hair? I'm trying to figure out how you get it so flat, it's like you've ironed it. Yeah, sorry, I've got hat hair. <laughs> Hopefully we've passed each other's looks tests anyway at this point. Yeah. It's about the next stage, isn't it? Mm, what's that for you? Just having fun with somebody. What about you? If I had to pick one thing? Yes, I had to pick one, so you've got to pick one, so that works. Someone who can make me laugh. Check. Next. You think a lot of yourself, don't you? It's all about that je ne sais quoi. I've heard of that. You find that in the frozen section, don't you, next to the nuggets? Shut up. I guess it's the same as yours, really. Having fun with someone? If you're having fun with someone, there is not a problem in the world. Preach! Sister. I don't think there's any big secrets to a good relationship. I'm not allowed the press. No, but as long as, you know, people can connect, then opposites can attract. You're really doing the intel on me, aren't you? Trust me, there is nothing intel about anything I do or say. <laughs> You're harsh on yourself. Thanks. I'm definitely opposites attract. I think I like to see something new in every person that I meet. So you're an optimist? Mm. The chances of it not working out in the long run are higher, though. Let's just stick with optimists, shall we? Yeah. I think so. Mm. <laughs> So, are you like one of those people that likes to be together all the time, or do you need your own space? Well, you know, if you always do stuff apart, then what's the point of being together? Do you know what you want, though? 
I guess it depends on the relationship. Yeah, absolutely. I'd say... I like to be independent. I hate it when I see couples that do everything together. Like, I want to spend time on my own or with my friends still. For sure. I mean, if someone told me I couldn't see my mates, they would be out the door, right? We once held an intervention, OK, for one of my mates. He kept bailing on us last minute. So we all went around his house, kidnapped him off his purse. What happened? Look, they're still together. We just see more of them now. We just have to have a discussion about it, forcefully. Oh, with bats. And clubs. And, and a van. And lions and tigers and bears and all this stuff. This is literally the size of my head. Actually, I've got quite a big head. No, that's All right, say it's that. quite square. No. <laughs> It's getting late. It is, yeah. It was great seeing you again. Likewise. You've got a great chat, Steve. <laughs> you flatter me, Mike. <laughs> Message me when you get home. I'd love to see you again. I kind of think you're pretty special. Oh, come on, I'm not all that. I know you lost in the worst way possible, but I hope that you sort of maybe you want to find something new with me. Yeah, I mean, there's this um, quiz night at my local next week, if you're interested. Or... What kind of team will I be joining? One that is in dire need of a star player. Ah, oh, you got to <laughs> I really want to kiss you right now, but I've got a dash. <laughs> You can do it if we win the quiz. I'll start studying. I'll dash with you. OK, cool then. Come on. <laughs> Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm a hugger. Should, should we hug? I'm yeah, so am I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, Jake. Misha. Uh, I think I might have crinkled your shirt a bit, but uh... uh <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think you did. I've um. Okay, so quick story. My uh, my grandmother buys me a birthday gift every year, and she likes to get me a shirt. And this is a vintage 2013. Oh no way! Yeah, I'm a teacher and clearly too busy to buy my own clothes. <laughs> so, do you have any um, birthday traditions? Oh, I don't know if I can compete with that shirt. Grandma clearly knows our drip. Hey, she's uh, she's got good taste. <laughs> I actually do have a tradition. My granddad always buys me a jumper on my birthday. I do love a jumper. Mm, but he's colorblind, so... <laughs> but instead of seeing the colors differently, he sees them all the same. Mm. It's called, um... Tritonomaly. Tritonomaly. <laughs> <laughs> this speed dating business is such, like, an interesting format. Yeah, I think so. I, um... I actually don't get out too often. School's quite full on, so... Summer holidays, though. Exactly. Mm. You speed dated before? That's a verb. Oh, you're going to mark me on this day, aren't you? No, I, I wouldn't do that to you. Of course not. Oh. <laughs> I haven't speed dated before. OK. Just use apps and trying to meet people the old-fashioned way. Yeah, me too. I, um, I don't normally do this type of thing, but I kind of thought, hey, why not enlist the help? Mm. You're investing in your own happiness. I love that for you. Yeah. Yeah, I love that for me too. What is most important to you? in a relationship. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you added that last part. I'm not sure we're ready for politics yeah. just yet. Three minutes to go. Three minutes. Well, maybe I'd be so bold to say I'm looking for love. What about you? OK, was that too much? No, I mean, it's honest. Nothing else, I'm honest. <laughs> Good to know. If I'm honest, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm hoping I. I'll sort of know it when I see it. Well, I think the most intelligent minds are the ones that aren't afraid to admit when they don't know something. How do you mean? OK, so at school, 
I've got like two types of kids. <laughs> you have the ones who sort of steamroll in and pretend like they know everything. And then you have the ones who aren't afraid to admit when they don't know something. And they definitely advance faster. So you're not a fan of fake it till you make it? Well, I think confidence is good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I think the key is to stay curious. Come on though, you've got to have a type at least. No, I, I don't think I do. Not even in like looks? There's no pattern in your track record? I guess my previous exes have all been brunettes. Personality-wise, is there anything that you're like drawn to? I, my last ex was quite hard on me. Um, she kind of would say more sort of bad things than nice things to me by the end. So that was quite tough, but um, yeah. <laughs> she sort of felt like I needed to grow a backbone and I like, disagree with her a bit more. Um, I'm a bit mild-mannered most of the time. I know that I can come across as a bit pick-me, so... Yeah, sorry. No, I, I, I don't want to keep going on about this. <laughs> One minute to go. One minute warning. So what else do you do with yourself, Jake, besides date randoms? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I like to read a lot. It's... Uh, yeah, it's one of my favourite hobbies. Air quotes, nice. <laughs> I picked up a book in my time. Favourite genre? Oh, finishing with a toughie. Um... Yeah, we could determine our entire future together. Mm, no pressure. Mm. I'm a huge fan of erotic fiction. Really? <laughs> Is that something you're keen on? Or? Uh, I, you know, it's not something that I've tried reading before, but if it's, hey, if you're into it, I'll give it a go. <laughs> mm, bit of role play. Do women look for that when they find out that you're a teacher? No. <laughs> no, they don't, actually. I, I wouldn't be into it even if they did. <laughs> and that is time, ladies and gents. OK, well, um, it's over a bit too soon. <laughs> it was. Listen, I'd, um, I'd love to be able to contact you. Oh, yeah, and um, what's your socials? Uh, I'm not actually on socials. I. Don't even have a smartphone. Oh, uh, saving I... this news for the end of the day. Nice work. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> I see what you did there. Okay. Thanks. All right. I'll call you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> okay. Jake was really lovely. He was a teacher. He had some nice shirts. <laughs> so he's a nice guy? He's a really nice guy. He's so sweet. Could you see there being a second date? Yeah, I could. Yeah? Yeah. That sounds lovely. So, Misha, what's going to happen next? Mm -hmm. I have one option. Mm -hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. the job of I would <laughs> you waited I did the um the waiter advised that I should wait for you to open the bottle mm, that is good advice I thought so how was your weekend uh yeah my weekend was good I went to see my sister um her kids are super into tractors so let's just say got very muddy this is too wholesome like there's got to be a catch somewhere not that I'm aware of mm, I'm not sure of it yet do you get, like, the grandchildren spill when you go home? Every time I go home, I get it. Yeah, so, very lucky. I have mm -hmm. three siblings, and they've all got kids, so I'm off the hook oh, for now. good siblings. Do you play with your nieces and nephews? Yeah, only when they're good. Have I been good? That's, like, a roundabout way of me saying, like, <laughs> do you want some game time? OK. OK, quiz master at your service. OK, great idea. Why don't we do one that's, like, about us, like, our lives? Okay, go on. Okay, so to make it easier, 
you have to pose answers. So whoever is the quizzer has to pose a question and give three possible answers. Okay. Okay, I'll go first. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Question one. What is your favourite type of day? Is it active? Is it relaxed? Or a bit both? One where, like, you feel super amazing by the end of it. Okay, I've got an answer. Okay. I'm gonna say... Relax. Fun! Yes. Love me a big night in with some board games. Oh my god, I'm exactly the same. Really? Love board Sorry. games when it's raining outside. Wet play. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, that's what we call it at school. Yeah. Wet play mm -hmm. for the kids. Sure. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay. <laughs> what is your biggest turn on? Kisses, cuddles, or words? You thinking of it? Yeah, I think I've got something. Channeling your thoughts telepathically. You've got this. I'm gonna go with... Cuddles. Cuddles? Mm. Final answer. Yeah. That's the right answer. Eee! Yeah, I uh, do love cuddles. Mm. Prove yeah. it. You want to prove cuddles? Yeah, prove cuddles. How, how am I supposed to prove cuddles? I don't know, cuddles something. Cuddles. <laughs> That looks like an excellent cuddle. Thanks. Pricked me in the cheek, but we're good. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, my turn. Okay. Question three. Uh, what do you value most in a partner? Kindness, bravery, or honesty? It's a tough one. Can I choose all three? <laughs> no, you have to prioritise. Okay, okay, I can choose if I have to. Uh... Okay, I've got my answer. I mean, personally speaking, I hope the quality that you value most in a partner is kindness. Mm. That's cool, but I think I need someone brave. Like, ambition-wise and physically and emotionally. Like, I think I need to feel safe above all else. Okay. You want someone macho? It's fair enough. Question four? Question four. What is the key to your heart? Is it wine? <laughs> is it food? Or is it conversation? Oh, this one's easy. Yeah? Mm, actually. Okay, spoke too soon. <laughs> conversation. Wine. Oh, I'm just not much of a drinker, you see. Mm. So. You're missing out. Mm. I don't know, more of a foodie myself. So, have you ever cooked dinner for anyone on a date before? Kind of my signature move. Mm, what's your star dish? <sighs> my star dish is risotto with some parmesan, a bit of truffle oil. Mm, speechless. Yeah, wait till you try it. Mm. So, if you like cooking, have you ever tried food play? Is this a follow-up question? No, I haven't. What about you? This wine is <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Deflecting, mm. okay. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. I've done a whipped cream thing once. Sounds a bit much to me. Mm, it was more of an accessory. Like, I'm not even sure if whipped cream counts as food play. I was just being polite. I don't, I don't think I want to know. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah, yep. fair enough. <laughs> so, would you say you're a romantic? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Do you believe in, like, the one? Yeah, I do. I do believe in the one. I'd like to think that there's someone out there waiting for us. That is just right. I don't know. <laughs> Call me soppy, but I'm a bit of a, a bit of a wide-eyed optimist. I do believe in the one. I think Plato might have been onto something. That we're all just wandering around, searching for other halves, looking to complete ourselves. <laughs> yeah, not that we're half a person, but I definitely believe that there's someone out there that fits with us perfectly. Exactly. It's not that we're lacking in anything, it's just that they add to us in a way. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think it happens overnight, <laughs> but there's definitely one person out there for you. And you may start to get to know them and you spend some more time with them. The next thing you know, you want to spend the rest of your life together. More like a slow burn then. Exactly that. Yeah. <laughs>
Why me? That's why they call me. <laughs> it's been so lovely. Yeah, yeah, it really has. Um... Listen, thank you for coming on a second date with me. Mm, likewise. Yeah, really appreciate it. Let's split it. No, I, I, I can get it. Your offer is more than enough and I would like to pay my way. <sighs> okay, I won't fight you on it. Good. <sighs> Shall we? Yeah, let's. After you. Mm -hmm. Such a gent. I do try it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh. Um, you ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. Go. Okay. Who is getting the call for the third date? Do it now. Hmm. Um, I was just wondering if you maybe wanted to hang out again? I, I, I had a really lovely time last, last time. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cool, okay, uh, um, bye! Yes? Yeah! No? Yes? Yeah! <laughs> Here we are! <laughs> oh! Yes! Yes! You did it! I did it. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me too. Hey. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, you again. And you. This is a um, really lovely spot you found here. Oh, I have a skill. I'm really glad I went to be dating. It's nice to be here with you. You always know the right thing to say. You're being suspicious of my wholesomeness again. I think you're probably made in a lab. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, the speed dating event. Oh, yeah. I assume you came on your own. I had to bring my mate. I did. Came on my lonesome. Mm. Who did you bring? My mate Ryan. But I didn't tell him it was a speed date until he got there. No. How did he take it? I mean, pretty well, considering. You know? Is he an ex? Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Are you friends with your exes? Friends of my exes, uh, <laughs> yeah, all of them, in fact. They uh, they ended amicably, so we thought, why not? You? No, oh, now you're asking. Um, listen, we don't, we don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Actually, I am friends with my exes. I mean, not all of them, but some. Hey, we are all nice people. Mm, I choose to that. So how was your week? Uh, my week was good. The children are rehearsing a play at the moment, so that's keeping them busy. Um, they're learning this song and their voices are terrible. <laughs> I mean, there is this one little girl who's got a very angelic voice, so that's good. It must be hard not to play favourites. Yeah, I mean, they're special in their own way, so... You really love your job, don't you? Do you think you'd quit if you won the lottery? It's a good question. Um, I mean, I don't play the lottery, so... Maybe. I don't know. If the time is right. You? Mm, it's tough. Still got two thirds of my life to live. There's plenty of things you can do with that time and money. I love work, but I just sack it off to enjoy life. So you can't enjoy it while you're working? Maybe if they made four day weeks a thing. Yes. That sounds like an idea for the unions. Mm. But I'm not going to win the lottery anytime soon, so... <laughs> I'll probably just wait to whatever age they make retirement by the time I get there, which would be like a hundred or something. Mm. When that happens, I'd like to set up my own foundation. I'd work on the amalgamation of charities to pool resources. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I mean, there are so many charities out there at the moment and the money's just spread so thinly between them and... I don't know, kind of... 
got a dream to open up my own charity for children. I don't know if anyone's told you this, <laughs> but you really look like Claire Foy. Yeah, many people have told me that. Yeah. A lot. Ooh. What's this? This is a wonderful game called beer tasting. Mm. Now, beer has cost me a lot of calories in my time, but it is a guilty pleasure. Mm, I used to count calories. It became a trend in my school to have an eating disorder. Yeah, I've, um, I've actually got some children who are starting to show some early signs of that. Do you talk to them about it? A bit. Um, we speak to the parents about, you know, positive body image, um, just that we're here to support them. I think positive body reinforcement is really important. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. So we're working on a campaign right now where, again, we're just working with the parents, letting them know about telltale signs when the kids are overeating, undereating, that sort of thing. That's the thing, isn't it? People get so good at hiding it, it's hard to spot, let alone discuss. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if I was insensitive about the, the calories comment. No, no, not at all. Okay. So, I don't know if you knew, but this place is actually really famous for its blind beer tasting. Ooh. So, you've got to choose which one's the most expensive. Ah. So, the barman's put a red ring so we know which one it is. So, come here. God. <laughs> hey, stay still. Stay still. Stop. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to pull anything funny on me, are you? I feel very exposed. Do you want me to do something to calm your nerves? Well, it depends what it is. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is very treacherous for my trousers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Next one. <clears throat> hey. Better. You are keeping your cards close to your chest, That's my friend. Try. <laughs> Which one? That's the one. What? Yep. Was that right? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Okay, my turn. My turn. Okay. I'm not using that. I'm not using that. Come on. No. 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 Look, I can shut my eyes. Oh, wait, wait okay. there's no red ring around yours. Well, choose one now based on, like, the colour. Oh, same, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Numero uno. Mm -hmm. Isn't it scary? Oh, yeah, I've got to give a chance. Right? Yeah. <laughs> here, here. Yeah. I mean, I drank more than that. Oh, hoppy. Very hoppy. Hoppy, yeah. OK, fine. Next one. Mmm, fruity. Yeah? Yeah. OK. Don't mind that. Last one. Ugh, very acidic, that one. All right, yep. moment of truth. Which one? Mm. Tough call. I think it was the second one. Second? Yeah. Yes. Yes! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Good, I love a woman who knows a bit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> So, uh, before we go any further, um, I guess I just want to check in with you about something, if that's good. Dark secret reveal incoming. Um, <laughs> no, no dark secrets. Oh, shit, I'm certain that was it. OK, I'm listening. Um, I guess while I'm not the most, like, exciting guy that I'm sure you've probably met, <laughs> um, I, I guess I'm just not looking for a bit of fun. Cards on the table. Um, so if you are looking for a serious relationship, then then great. If not, that's completely fine. I don't want to pressure you into saying anything you're not ready for. Um, so it would be great to know where you are, if, if that's all right. I do want a relationship. I mean, single life's been great, but I think things could be better. I think I'd like to be in love. Like find someone where I could be with them, but also, like, be myself, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't think I realised that until just now. Revelation for us both. <laughs> <laughs> I've really enjoyed tonight. Yeah, me too. 
my friend's having a um, fundraiser next week. If it's something you'd be interested in, I don't know. What kind of fundraiser? Mask ball. Oh my god, yes. Yeah? Great. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to kiss you right now. I've been thinking the same thing. No way. What are the chances? <laughs> For the podcast, the miserable millennial book club. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you here for this speed dating thing? Oh, I'm just waiting for my mate to finish, yeah. You? <laughs> no, I prefer to do things solo. Reading at a bar seems like a new one. Well, considering all the coffee shops are shut, I don't really have a choice. I'm the same, actually. I like taking myself out for a meal or... A spa day or a weekend away. Or a spa weekend away. Mate, stop. <laughs> I'm Hazel, by the way. Misha. My absolute favourite thing to do solo, which I totally recommend, is go to the cinema. Mm. You can lean back, switch your phone off for a few hours and just solve the story. Seems like a great mode of self-care. I just love my films, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you were to go, what would you watch? Alone. Alone? On a date? Whatever. God, I don't ever go to the cinema alone. Um... All right, well, what genre would you pick? I really love horrors and thrillers. Not like psychological and supernatural stuff? Yeah, like stuff that gets under your skin. But you're not a serial killer, are you? I mean, you're the one who spoke to me. <laughs> oh! It's not funny! Oh, so. I am so sorry I meant that with affection. I better not make you mad, then. So? How was the speed dating? It was fun. Unpredictable, but, uh, yeah, fun. Did you meet anyone sexy? Is that word still in circulation? Mm, probably not, but I think I might bring it back. Why not? No one's really caught my eye. I don't think it's the speed dating. I think it's just for men. Maybe. Or me. I doubt it. I appreciate that. Even though you've only just met me. I am an extremely good judge of character. Mm, I'll hold you to that. You should? Yeah. <laughs> this is your three minute warning, guys. Three minutes to go. That poor horse voice must be ruined. Yeah, it's the last date of the night, so I'll be off to meet Ryan soon. In that case, let's get you a drink for the road. <clears throat> it's two for one until the event ends, so that gives you about two and a half minutes. How's it now? I think I'm gonna respectfully pass. I think I've reached my quota for the evening. Totally cool. So, I know what you do for fun, but what do you do for work, Hazel? Mm hmm I see there's a reason why I don't lead with this. <laughs> I just work for HR. It's your regular nine to five. That yeah, explains why you're such a people person. Yeah. I mean, that part of it, I do love. I love talking to people, but... I don't know, recently I've just wanted to quit. I'm sorry to hear that. I took a bit of a hiatus for personal reasons, and then when I came back, it's just not something I want to do anymore. I'm... Sorry, I shouldn't be talking as much. Do you mind me asking what prompted the hiatus? Just a thing. Uh, sorry for asking. <laughs> but it gave me the thought of, you know, carpe diem. So, something I'm working on. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Already? You know what I miffed about? How come Ryan got an extra date to me? Well... We can call this a speed date if you want. I, I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Why not? I mean, we are abiding by time restrictions and everything. Annoyingly. 
I wish we had longer. Do you want to keep in touch and maybe we can hang out sometime? As much as I love doing things solo, I would really love a partner in crime now and again. Someone take your pics of social media and all that. Yeah, it's more of a PA role, really. <laughs> I'd love to. And that is time, everyone. Hopefully see you at the next one. Well, you don't want to keep Ryan waiting. <laughs> at HazelX1. You can hit me up there. Got it. Bye, Hazel. See you soon, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy that book. Bye. <laughs> Come on, spill the beans. How do they go? <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh, there was Hazel. Okay. Who I met at the bar by accident. We were reading exactly the same book. We had the same interests. She was really fun. She wasn't even meant to be there. So she hadn't signed up for it? No, she was just in the bar. Okay, so she sounds like it went well. It went really surprisingly well. Okay, nice. I'm like an Hazel. Hazel could maybe progress to date too. You think so? I think so. Okay. So, Misha, what's gonna happen next? Mm, I have one option. Mm hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. You? <laughs> I've read that one to you. Any good? Mm, she dies at the end. No. <laughs> Why would you say that? She doesn't. She doesn't. Okay. Oh. You've been here long? Uh, yes, actually. But I'm always painfully early. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. <laughs> what about you? What's your timekeeping like? Oh, straight in with the analytics. I've been staring at spreadsheets all day. <laughs> gathering data to become my second nature. I'm always freakishly on time. I think it's a disease. Right, okay, so I can say this now because we're working out with the same person. Right. I hate people who are late. Me too, it's so rude. There's no excuse for it. Like, five minutes is fine, but anything else, I'm like... Now, see, I'm, like, set off earlier. But traffic? Leave, well, leave yourself in case of traffic <laughs> a bit more time. No excuse. Hardball you are. Mm, no messing about. <laughs> I love your outfit. Oh, thanks. It was, um, yeah, it was a gift. Dungarees. You cannot go wrong with dungarees. I know. Just chuck them on. Life uniform, right? Absolutely. Do you own a lot of dungarees? I have, like, ten pairs of dungarees. I have about three, and I think that's enough. Yeah, okay. I think you've taken the biscuit there. I'm sorry. I apologise. <laughs> Should we get a drink? Yes, definitely. What do you fancy? Maybe a cosmopolitan. Ooh, I haven't had one in ages. Okay, okay. Excuse, Excuse me. me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can I get two cosmopolitans, please? Got to keep eye contact. I don't like I mint. It. I don't like mint. I don't like mint at all. Mmm. Mm. I like that. OK, this might sound silly. I love silly. Great. My uncle made up this holiday game called Where Do You Stand? So, like, one person brings up a topic and then it leads to, like, a debate or a discussion. Or an argument. Okay, can I go first? Who's my guest? Right, let me think. Um, right. Where do you stand on one night stands? Yeah, never played that one with the family before. <laughs> <laughs> Big questions are best with this game. You've played it before? Uncle Jim said he made it up. Uncle Jim lied. Rude. <laughs> I think as long as they're done safely, like within every sense of the word, I mean, what's the harm? Yeah, exactly. Like, I think there's an experience behind each one, from, like, the moment you spot someone you fancy to... To the walk of shame afterwards. Yeah, see, I prefer stride of pride. I love that. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? OK, OK, my turn. What topic do I want your opinion on? All right, well, don't think too well, cos your brain might explode. Hmm. OK. Mirror selfies. Where do you stand? Yeah, it's got to be a no for me. Like, I've no problem with what other people want to do with their own reflective surfaces, but for me, it's, yeah, just a no. No exceptions? No. I think 
Do you know what it is? Like, I think it's really hard to see someone properly when they've got the phone in front of the face. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm more of a front camera kind of girl myself. Yeah, but not everyone has that confidence. I have to confess, I have a couple of mirror selfies in my camera. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, <laughs> I won't hold it against you. Thank you. OK, let me think of a question for you. Um, OK. Peace and war, where do you stand? Oh, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. Are you going to draw any, like, big conclusions from my answer here? Yeah. <clears throat> Not quite possibly, I will, yeah. Great, OK. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going war. You have to fight for what's right, and sadly, that means conflict. I agree. That's a shame, but I think pacifism is too idealistic. Like, war's just a way of life. Has it ever affected you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got a few ex-servicemen and women in my family. We've lost a few, but, yeah, some are still with us. My turn. Oh, here we go. Mm. What are you going to ask? What are you dying to hear my opinion on? Mm. Drugs. Where do you stand? Obviously, irresponsible drug use is a disaster, mm. but I think we all know the qualities of medicinal marijuana. So that's a yes to drugs? Some. Good to know. Uh, morning or evening? For taking drugs or just, like, in no, general? Just, just in general. <laughs> <laughs> OK, pretty straightforward. Or so you think. The complexity comes in your reasoning. Morning, every time. I'm a morning person too. That does mean, though, if we were together in the dark ages, we both would have been killed in the night. So, ideally, you're looking for a night owl. What about someone who'll get you coffee in the morning? OK, let's keep talking. <laughs> I feel like I can be quite open with you. Do you want to tell the truth? Or is that ridiculous? No, no, I like it. But you go first. OK. On the count of three. One, two, three. I'm addicted to cigarettes. You're a smoker. It started last year when I was going through a really stressful period of my life. Covid-related? Yeah. But in my defence, I'm weaning myself off them and my next resolution for the new year is to give them up completely. OK. Your turn. Oh, no, I'm still thinking of one. Um... OK, here we go. Three, two, one. I've never been with a woman before. I'm your first first. No, no, I've, I've dated women before, but I've never been in, like, a long-term relationship. Honestly, I don't care who you've dated. OK, good, because I was so nervous telling you that. Cheers. <laughs> I'll let Uncle Jim know the game was a success. Please do. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Misha, I don't normally ask this, but would you be all right to cover my part? I'm just in a really hard spot financially. The whole thing? If you won't mind. I, it would really help me. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Misha. Sorry for being such a stickler. Is it Monday or something? Yeah, well, that and... Um, I've had to take a bit of unexpected time off work recently, so... Oh, well, I hope you get back to the office soon. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I had a lovely time. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. It's been a belter. I've got to go in a minute, but I've got to wait for my taxi. Well, I'll just wait with you. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's that? Shit. Um, nothing. Well, I'd really love to walk you home, but I've just got to get back myself. Is everything all right? Yeah, no, it's fine. Oh. Text me when you're home, will you? Uh, yeah, sure. Right, I'll see you soon. Anyway, yeah. I've been wanting to ask you something. What? Very important. Oh, gosh. You ready? No. Well, I'm going to ask you either way if you're ready or not. Go. Who is getting the call for the third date? Do it now. Hmm. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm going 
good, thank you. Oh, yeah, of course you are. Um, look, I, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out again. I, I, I know this really lovely place. Oh my God, amazing, yeah, that, that's, that's great. I will text you the details. Okay, bye. Did it. Excited? No, yeah, maybe. A little I bit. love it. A little bit. How excited? Really excited. Yeah? Mm -hmm. on all your dates or just only the ones I like <laughs> and this one is my latest obsession I am honored oh sorry my sister Megan she's on a date tonight and she's absolutely wrecking it do you mind if I just give her a call go for it hey baby okay you're almost there yeah I'm with her now no don't apologize she doesn't mind no honestly she doesn't mind all right would you feel better if I put you on speakerphone Okay. Misha, meet Megan. Hi, Megan. You right, Misha? Sorry I'm stealing hairs from you. No, it's, it's fine. fine. I'm nearly at the bar. Sweating like a glass blower's ass. Are you quite an anxious person? Not usually. Right here? Yeah, not at all. I'm meeting them off a dating app, which I never do. Swipe, yes. Flirt, yes. Write unsolicited dick pics, sometimes. Meet in person. Absolutely bloody not. Well, I mean, if you're meeting them in a public place, then you can just bail if you feel uncomfortable. Okay, thanks, Misha. I, I said that. <laughs> Sorry, Hayes, just Misha sounds more legit than you. Okay, I'm going in. Reckon you could stay in my ears? Uh, how would we do that? My hair covers my wireless earphones. They won't notice. This is some secret agent shit. We got you, baby girl. Okay, so what's on your mind? What do I do if they don't look like the pictures? Like a mahoosive catfish. I'm guessing you haven't video called or anything? No. Or should I have? Well, it might have been a good screening test, but it's a bit late now. Posting accurate photos is such a shit move and I would walk straight out. But you don't know why the person felt the need to do that. They could be really insecure. Megan, it's not your problem if they're insecure. It shows a lot of disrespect for you and your time. Actually, yeah, you're right, Misha. Damn right, it does. I think that's a bit harsh. Oh, positive thinking, though. They will look as good as their pics. <laughs> You look like your pictures. Oh, thanks, you too. Great to meet you, Megan. First crisis avoided. Yeah. Why are we whispering? They can't hear us. That's true, actually. <laughs> Shall we get some drinks? Oh, sure, yeah. This place does the best espresso martinis. I'll get us a couple. Did they just order for you, Megan? Um, no, it's a bit of a red flag for me, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, espresso martinis sound good. <laughs> espresso martinis. You don't even like those. They give you the shit. Give them the benefit of the doubt. What? They might have seen she was nervous and wanted to help. Oh, by forcing her to drink something she doesn't want to? They want her to have fun and feel like she's taken care of, you know. Go with the flow. You better be right. Um, look, Megan, I, I know this isn't the cool thing to say. Nah, cool small. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've been looking forward to this all day. It probably got me to work and that. Oh, that's nice, right? Meeting me. <laughs> Your job must be shit. <laughs> um, I actually love it, but um, it's just that I never matched girls like you, so, um, yeah. Oh, they sound pretty genuine to me. I know how they feel. Very smooth. Like what I did there? <coughs> Sorry, Megan. Uh, show some appreciation. They'll like that. Well, that's just made my day. We'll call it even then. So, Megan, what do you do for fun? Yeah, you know, I never know what counts as a hobby. Um, like, I scroll TikTok before bed every night. Does that count? I cook every day, but that's because I die otherwise. Oh, poor thing, she's rambling. She's got to improve the chat. What, like change the topic to something more interesting? No, 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 small talk's good at this stage, you know. Gotta get the flow going. Acupuncture! I just did a course in it. There's a hobby of mine. Well then how can you progress the hobby chat? I find acupuncture terrifying. Needles of all girls are a hard pass from me. I see. Elaborate, Megan. Tell a personal story about one of those hobbies. You sure? Well, everyone likes someone who can express themselves. Needle end because it's totally girthless. I could still never. I've taken this personally, you know. It releases biochemicals that stimulate the 
body's natural healing abilities. You've almost converted me. A private treatment would finish the job. Our drinks haven't even arrived, and you've already agreed to me sticking needles in you. <laughs> so, if you know the express... Espresso. Martini's here so well. Is it your regular date spot? Oh, God, no. I barely ever go on app dates. Uh, how about you? Me, um... What do people like to hear? Yeah, yeah. Mm, depends. Cook up both ways. Guys, please. Who are you talking to? What? No one. No one didn't say anything. Oh, you need to say over. Be honest, Megan. Don't get off on the wrong foot by lying. Look, I'll be honest. I barely date at the best of times, let alone from apps. They scare me that I won't match up to my profile. Well, Megan, um, you more than match up to me, and I feel honoured you took a punt on meeting me. Do they actually? Well, for sure. App dating feels like one big competition, so it's nice to feel unique. Two seconds, Megan. I'm just going to pop to the loo. Take your time. How do you feel, baby girl? I actually quite fancy them. Get in, Megan. Yes. <laughs> what would you like to know next? Um, I actually think I got it from here. Love that from you. We'll debrief later tonight. For sure. Thank you so much, guys. Um, they're coming back. Go, go, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I know she thanked us both, but it was mainly you. Mm, I just went with my gut. Well, your gut is very impressive. That sounded better in your head, didn't it? Completely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in all that excitement, we forgot to order any food. And drinks. <laughs> Let's get to it. Yes. Why is nobody up here? Hello. Mama. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I've got to say, you seem like a great friend to Megan more than anything else. Well, if nothing else, I'm loyal to a fault. What do you mean? You know, I had to dash at the end of our last day. Oh, yeah, I just assumed you had to run off to watch something on the telly. Let me just show you. Is that a tag? Just let me explain. What, do you fresh out of prison? No, it, I've not been to prison. It, I'm on bail pending trial. For? ABH. I was out with Megan and then some guy groped her, so I walloped him one. Smashed him in the face, cracked his nose, blood everywhere. He got sent to hospital. That's nothing to be proud of. I'm not proud of it. But I would do it again in a heartbeat to protect people that I love. It does mean I still have to be in by 10 tonight. Is this your first brush with the law, or...? I mean, I did some graffiti as a kid, but... It's not like I go looking for that stuff. It just... It finds you? Misha, I want you to know this is not the person that I am. I just can't help the situation. I've spent enough time with you to know that you're not a bad person. We just need to keep you out of trouble. That won't be hard with someone like you. I was suspended from work because of the incident. I was supposed to go back last week, but my perspective's just changed. I've realised that life can just change in the blink of an eye, so why would I want to go back to that rat race? You really don't like your job, do you? No. <laughs> but sadly, I've got bills to pay. What would you do in my shoes? On a scale of one to ten, how disgruntled are you? I'm a strong 15. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I'd take the plunge and find a new job. Do I just think that's too risky? I've got established at my current workplace. I've worked my way up. I've got a good salary. How are we supposed to understand ourselves if we don't try different things? It's good for the soul. A change of pace, place, people. Give it a try sometime. Change is never as easy as society wants you to think it is. Especially when you're an adult with responsibilities. <sighs> I'm growing a massive food, baby. Mm, I've got one more mouthful of tiramisu here if you want to help me out. Right, go on. You have a very resilient mm. nature. That would have been key defence to my judge. Curfew your arm? Yep. It was great seeing you again. I just want to know what your nature thinks about us. Oh, that was very slick. So slick. Mm -hmm. I really like you, Hazel. You're beautiful and genuine and trustworthy. And I know you'll always have my back. <laughs> I really like you too, Misha. 
I really want to just run away and kiss you, but I've got to go. Well, let's run together. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs>